Hey guys, <laughs> how's it going? Oh wow, Whew. Sunday after uh, evening. What am I talking about? Afternoon, Sunday evening, everybody. How is everybody, guys? It is eight o'clock here, uh, Sunday in Ontario, eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and looks like we already have a few people in the chat. Guys, welcome. And uh, yeah, how has your weekend been, guys? I'm curious to find out how you guys are holding up. Um, wow. These last few days have been a whirlwind for me. Starting on Monday, wow, what a what a crazy, crazy set of days. I've got to tell you, I was not expecting uh, the kind of um, wow, the kind the, the kind of excitement that was happening around the the uh, the wheel of illumination that uh, we did on Monday, and then uh, to almost not exactly replicate that, but. To have something very similar to that for uh, to happen again on uh, on uh, Saturday, that was a lot of fun. I have I have to tell I have to tell you guys it was it was really really cool to have a lot of you guys here and uh, you know on bated breath and that that wheel is is just vicious. I got to tell you, like I really have to thank uh, Sleeping Collectibles for uh, for for really letting me borrow that um, that uh, wheel of elimination because really he's the one who started. Uh, that kind of um, uh, idea, and it's really taken off for him. And you know, I, I'm I'm very impressed at how engaging it is, and and a lot of people really are glued to the actual uh, event itself. So it was really really exciting for me to actually get one of those off the ground. I was hugely hugely excited about that. But having said that, I do want to say, guys, welcome back. I'm Jay. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the stream. It's always a pleasure to have you know a little bit of time to hang out with you guys on uh, on the weekend here. It is, of course, as I said, eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Ontario, Canada. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys tuning in from? I want to find out uh, you know a little bit more about how your weekend was, how you guys are uh, coping with uh, you know the situation that we all find ourselves in. Have you guys found any cool toys to uh, to pick up? Have you guys been doing a lot of toy hunting? I would love to find out uh, what you guys are up to. And uh, yeah, please leave those in the in the comments section. Let's uh, let's let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy today, and uh, you know, talk some toys, guys. Um, but you know, we don't want to just talk toys. We can talk anime, cartoons, you know, a whole bunch of different things. Whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm cool. I do, of course, want to touch on a few subjects. Very excited about some of the announcements that uh, have been have been showing up. Some surprise announcements, uh, teases about certain figures that are coming up, and some Kyodai Roboto giant robots. From Japan, which are really blowing my mind, and I'm super excited about it because I am a lifelong, you know, giant robot fan. So, you know, anytime I see something about a giant robot, I am on point with that. I really like uh, seeing it, and I really have to thank, you know, my good friends Kid Chuckle and, you know, the Hunter Group, who uh, helped me to keep on top of these things. It's just, just freaking amazing. All right, so we have a couple of people in the chat right now. Let's uh, let's say hi to whoever is here. Um, Jermaine Hunter. Jermaine, good to see you, brother. Good, thanks for joining the stream. Uh, Kevin, how's it going, Kevin? KJ, do you think Ratman is uh, the grapple of He-Man Origins line? Nobody wants him or the Black. Or the Black? Um, uh, Clam, are, are you talking about Clam Chunk? Uh, I'm not going to say that entirely. I mean, like, uh, I do see a lot of them. Uh, you know, now that now that I'm actually able to go back into stores. Yeah, he's piled up quite a bit. Um I'm not going to say that that, that uh, that's exactly what's happening. You know, I think maybe they, they maybe they did uh, produce a few more than they were than they were expecting to. So yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to say, but time will tell. Um, you know, unlike Battle Armor He-Man, Battle Tar Armor Skeletor, that uh, you know they flew off the shelves like crazy. And yeah, it seems like uh, Clam Champ and uh, and Ram Man are, are sticking on the shelves. But again, it's it could just be that you know people are people are uh, just getting back into the swing of things, and maybe maybe we'll start seeing. Um, them disappear a little bit faster. I know that a lot of people in the states uh, have been asking me, you know, if if they can send if I can send some down. So you know, it's not it's not outside the realm. Uh, you know, it, it depends on which province and which state that you're in. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. It, it's 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 really a hit and miss. Um, Rodman's Prime. Hey Jay, I just saw Sweatpants Joe toy uh, toys. Mattel is going to reissue Origins He Man. With a new head sculpt for G1 uh, for, for the G1 toy, uh, I think you're mixing up you're mixing up terms there, Rodimus. But okay, uh, the best part is he comes with a full power sword and not half. Yeah, I, I, we touched on that uh, a couple weeks ago, Rodimus. 
yeah, they're, they're, they're coming in, in these style packaging. Um, they're being released basically this, uh, come here. Let me just, here. Yeah, this, this He-Man is being re-released uh, with, with a classic head. And you're right, he comes with a full power sword instead of a half power sword. So yeah, it's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, they might even there are they're also releasing classics uh, a classic uh, head of of Skeletor, but they're releasing the wrong head. Uh, I I personally think that they should have released uh, a, something of a more stylized um, um, Keldor head uh, that came in the Keldor and Cronus two pack. I was I was thinking that they should do that instead, but they're actually releasing the one that came with um, the battle armor Skeletor. So I don't know. Uh, a lot of people have a little bit a few mixed feelings about that, but. It, it, it is. It's not without its merit. It does look really, really cool. But um, yeah, I, I did hear about that. We did talk about that, uh, you know, a few weeks ago. But yeah, thanks for bringing that back up, Rodimus. That's awesome. Uh, if you want the, two, the YouTube link, Jay, I'll copy and paste it. Um, no, it's cool, man. We, we we can keep talking about it. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Post it anyway. We'll see. We'll see if we get to it. Hippity hoppity. Hello, hey, hippity hoppity. Good to see you. Thanks for joining the stream, Jack. Hey, what's going on, Big Jack? Good to see you, brother. Saw some human stuff at Walmart and Eglinton and Eglinton Road. Great, awesome to hear it. Uh, which ones do you do? You, did you any any ones in particular? Hippity hoppity. How's the weather up there, oh, dude? It's it was sweltering. Oh my god! Like uh, up here in Ontario, it was it was today was just the the humidity was whoo was through the roof. I think we hit the high thirties today um, in, in, in Celsius. I don't know what what that is in Fahrenheit, but. Um, uh, yeah, it was it was it was up there. Let me just check. Uh, Thirty degrees uh, Celsius. Why does it go Fahrenheit to Celsius? Should be Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, it was eighty six today. Um, it, it was hitting eighty six today. It was pretty crazy. Uh, Jack, also thoughts on Jurassic Park transformations in the works. You know what, Jack? Uh, I, I think I think that um, if if uh, uh, if, if the other Kevin is here, I think he'd be very happy about that. You know, it, that, they sort of, that sort of reminds me of, um, of Dino Riders, right? Uh, which is kind of cool. But when you think about it, Jurassic Park and, and, and Transformers, they'd be like Dinobots, you know what I mean? So it, it and, and Beast Wars. So, you know, it, it's not outside the realm. It, it's not, it's not too outrageous. I think that's a great, I think it's a great idea. Uh, Nathan, Jay, when you chop off the pony's tail, could you know the contest for a lucky fan to win? Uh, you know, Nathan, that's a really good idea. Maybe I will do something like that. Uh, the, the, but the first one that's going to come off is the big bushy beard. I think this has got to go. Um, we'll be doing a video on that. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll do a giveaway. Who knows? Good uh, good suggestion. Thank you for uh, for 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 that wonderful idea, Nathan. That's hilarious. I do. I I, I believe so too, uh, Kevin. Rolando, hey Rolando Flores, good to see you, brother. Thanks for joining the stream. Hippity hoppity. I came for the gargoyles. Well, brother, we're going to talk about that pretty soon. I got to tell you. Really excited about that. Darth Primus. Hey, Jay. Just saying hi from San Francisco Bay. Good to see you. Thanks, Darth Primus. Thanks for joining the stream. How's the weather over there? Today, for us, uh, I was just telling everybody it was uh, 86 degrees uh, in and around that today. So, yeah, it was pretty hot. It was crazy. Uh, at least what we consider hot up here in Canada. Uh, Nathan is smiling big. Big Jack Films. Most of the vintage toys I've been finding, uh, I've been reselling. Oh, okay. Uh, the last toy I bought was Out of Boredom, uh, the Lego Creator Pirate Ship. Okay, that's that's all right, Jack. Uh, Jetta Truck. Hey, Jetta Truck. Good to see you, brother. Thanks for joining the stream. Kevin McCauley, uh, where do you find the Panther with fur? One, the ones that Toys R Us don't have the fuzziness. So they are, um, they are Walmart exclusives right now, Kevin. Uh, I'm not sure if they're ever going to become uh, you know, mains. Uh, you know, to, to the rest of the um, the uh, retailers out there, I'm not really sure if that's ever going to happen. Um, I've been lucky enough to have one uh, viewer send me um, uh, in a trade uh, the the actual flock panther. Um, yeah, with real fur, realistic fur. Uh, but yeah, it, it's very very delicate. Eh? So I'm I'm keeping it inside the the packaging for sure. Um, yeah, your your best bet is to to find out if anybody down south uh, can get you one, um, and it's it's they're only Walmart exclusives, and it, it seems like they're very very hard to find. So I got really lucky, and someone was able to pick one up for me. So I uh, really appreciate that trade. Um, hippity hoppity, hey Jay, hey hippity hoppity, good to see you, brother. How's it going? I've been saying hi to you for quite some time, I think. Raymond Chung, I uh, came back to avoid the spinning wheel of death. 
Come on, guys. It was the, 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 the wheel of elimination was a lot of fun, don't you think? Big Jack, not 100%. I saw all the battle cats. Oh, yeah. Look, tons of battle cats, Big Jack. Tons. High 30s. That's patio weather. Yeah, it is. It's wonderful. Uh, Jack, I think it's more to what Transformers has done with the Black with Back to the Future and Ghostbusters. Not sure they're doing any vehicles or, or, or the dinosaurs. Oh, okay. So what? It's a Jeep. Is that is that is a JP Jeep? Is that is that what it is? Or, or it's a JP uh, like heavy vehicle? That that kind of sucks. What what like who cares? Uh, you know what? No, then I'm gonna go ahead and say bye. Uh, Princess Kagley, did I see gargoyles? Yes, you did see gargoyles, Princess Kagley. We're going to talk about that. As a matter of fact, we should talk. We should start talking about that pretty soon. Hippity hoppity, flocked panther. Yes, indeed, love flocked panther. Tristan, hey Tristan, good to see you, brother. Uh, the the rumor for uh, for Transformers and JP crossover is that it's a two pack T Rex from the Kingdom Megatron and the new mold as of the Ford Explorer. Probably see probably see for for sure. All right, so Megatron's not bad. I, that, 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 that at least is a dinosaur, right? So that's interesting. The Old Lincoln Pirate sets are awesome. They just put out a re-release of the classic Black Barracuda from 1989. Honestly worth the buy. Nice. Very, very cool. Uh, Darth Rhymes, 20 degrees Celsius is 68 degrees Fahrenheit in San Francisco. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's uh, a... <laughs> I mean, it's warm, but that's that's kind of cool, Darth Primus. Uh Blink Jack Limbs. Uh, Jurassic Park is gearing up for a high marketing campaign in 2022. Hence the massive toy announcement for the sixth movie coming out next year. Nice. Juggernaut Jones gives a big thumbs up. Good to see you, Juggernaut Jones. Thanks for coming. Uh, Jermaine, did Kingdom Galatron hit Toronto yet? No, it has not. Uh, at least it's not as far as I can tell. We've been we've been hunting for a while. So I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for, for I'm waiting for Kingdom Galatron. I'm waiting for the Ark. I'm waiting for my pre-order on um, on uh, Rodimus, and I'm waiting for any of the Dinobot, any of the uh, other Dinobots. Really looking forward to finding those guys soon, I hope. Uh, Will, hey, what's going on, Will? Good to see you, brother. Um, Nathan, Jay, were you ever into Muddy Max the cartoon? Do you remember Virgil, the Virgil character? Yeah, of course I do. I, I did like Muddy Max. I thought it was cute. Uh, obviously, I didn't collect the Polly Pocket you know, type figures. They were, they were just too small for me. I think I'd lose them all. Uh, but the cartoon was fun. Um, Virgil was awesome, man. He was like... Uh, he was the big brute, right? He was the the the, the protector, the sword wheeling guy, right? Uh, I thought he was really awesome. Um, what was the name of the owl? I can't remember his name anymore. Uh, or, or am I getting that mixed up? Layton, let let me know because uh, I did I did enjoy the, the 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 cartoon. It's been a while though. Uh, Jack, if he's the Fast Nine in IMAX, uh, you get to see first five minutes of the movie. I think I've seen some leaks. It looks amazing. Planet of the Apes was just uh, a Planet of the Apes, but with dinosaurs. Yeah, so I gave up on Fast Nine. I, I gave up on Fast and the Furious uh, ever, ever since Fast Five. Like I was, I was out. I could not suspend disbelief long enough to enjoy that movie. So I was like, ah. I was out. I was completely out. I did not. Uh, yeah, I did not enjoy that movie whatsoever. It was just not. It was not. Uh, it was not happening. Not happening, my friends. That 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 was that was not it. Ah, uh, Owl was the Virgil. Was Virgil okay? Yeah, he was cool. He was a he was a bit of a pompous ass, but you know, uh, I, I I liked him. You know, he he was he, he was very knowledgeable, right? And he'd send Max on crazy adventures. It was really fun. Tristan McDonald, uh, Owl was a Virgil. Big dude was Norman. That's right. Norman was the big dude. That's right. Uh, Rodimus Jay, I just finished watching Tiger and Bunny on and on... <laughs> man, you're bringing back some old films, man. Uh, not too old, not not as retro as me, but uh, yeah, Tiger and Bunny. Fun stuff. Uh, he was kind. He was kind of like the Mister Miyagi of the show. Yeah, like I said, very knowledgeable. Sent sent uh, Mac, uh, accompanied Max and and uh, and um, uh, Norman on a lot of adventures. Right, lots of fun. Uh, Jack, I just paid to see the Jurassic Park preview and walk off. Uh, and you'd go get your money back. Oh, that's that's interesting, Jack. So you got your money's worth then, and then you got it back. Crazy, too funny. All right, so guys, got a lot of things to talk about today, and I'm really excited about some of these uh, some of these reveals. Uh, a few of them I already talked about on some uh, on, on a couple of videos that I did uh, earlier earlier in the week, but I am super excited to be talking about um, some of these great great figures that NECA has, is releasing. Oh my gosh! So, like many of us back in the in, in the '90s, uh, I was I was in high school, and I remember. You know, 
watching the Disney afternoon, just like everybody else, right? You know, Tailspin, um, Rescue Rangers, uh, Gummy Bears, uh, DuckTales, um, Darkwing Duck, you know, all these great, great cartoons from the, ni- from the, from the 1990s. And one that stood out above all else, uh, which was in a lot of ways very anime-like, like super, super well animated, incredibly dark in terms of its tone and its, its, its overall feel, and very mature in the way it actually it, it, it actually was right. It was it was it was very much more much more almost adult oriented in, in that case, or at least it leaned towards a little bit more of a mature audience. So yeah, I of course I'm talking about gargoyles, and yes, early this year, um, NECA, NECA did announce that they were going to be releasing um, Goliath for from the Gargoyles uh, series from uh, from Disney, and I remember when I first saw. Uh, the tease of Goliath, I was I lost my mind. I was really, really excited because again, uh, getting anything in like um, um, you know action figure form, it's a tough it's a tough thing to do, right? It is it is it is a hard it is a hard thing to uh, to actually get right. And I have to I have to tell you, I am very impressed at what uh, what NECA has been able to do with a lot of their figures. Now. Like all things NECA, it's a hit and miss, right? Like, you know, the sculpting is amazing. Everything about their figures is incredible. The real, the real, the real sticking point for a lot of people is the the the, the fragile nature of these figures. I mean, they look incredible, bar none. They look amazing. Oh my god, they look so incredible. Um, but you know, looking at Goliath here. Holy crap! He literally looks like he jumped off the the television screen. Now, he's a lot more detailed than obviously they they, they were in the cartoon. You can see a lot of muscle striation. You can see a lot of the uh, the musculature in his in his in his in his legs in his chest. He literally looks like you know a He Man figure, but to the nth degree. You know he's got he's got like a lot of a lot of like beefy you know uh, features about him. He, he looks crazy. Yeah, his traps are freaking, you know, they're nuts, right? And his neck, his neckline is just again, he's not really supposed to be human. Um, but then you add the wings and you add the uh the uh cloven the cloven who uh the, the, the cloven uh, feet and his his hands. Again, you know that this guy means business, and the faces that he comes with are, are just are just amazing. So yeah, when they te- when they initially teased Goliath, I think everybody lost their collective minds at that at, at that point. It was it was just one of those things where a lot of people's dreams had started to come true because uh, you know we hadn't heard hide nor hair of uh, of gargoyles um, from from Disney forever. I, I I don't know what it is. I don't know if they if they had kind of um, not abandoned the property, but I, I I don't know if they were they were you know taking a break from it or if they you know didn't, hadn't given it any thought. But man, the 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 fever around this is, is has, has gotten ridiculous. Look at this. This post has been like two thousand five hundred twenty five times. My God, just crazy. And you know, with good reason. Look at this guy. This guy is insane. Holy crap! I wish I could actually. You know, Instagram's funny that you you can't you really can't uh, get any closer than that. Eh? Hold on. Let's try. There we go. That's what it is. That's what I was doing. Yeah. L- look. Look at this guy. Holy crap. Oh my God! And you know he's one of the biggest uh, f- uh, figures in terms of the six-inch line. He's like he's like eight inches tall uh, when he's when he's reared up like this. It is incredible. Look at that wingspan! Oh my God, just insane! What a presence this guy has! Just completely dominating. I mean, like, oh, what is what is irises just like? What, what, what you know? What is irises just fade, just gloss over and he 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 gets you know that rage. Oh, just just insane! I love the leathery texture on the wings. I can't wait to get my hands on this on this figure. He looks, oh my god, he looks insane! It's just oh, just crazy. I forgot about the tail. How can I forget about his tail? Oh my god! Uh, I wonder if it actually uh, articulates. But look at that! Look 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 at the definition in that face. Holy crap! Literally, he looks like he just came off off, off of off of the cartoon screen. Like I am so. So impressed by what the uh, by, by what the NECA artists have been able to do with this, my God! Like like, I just I just can't believe it. He literally looks like he's he's coming right off the screen. The 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 additional fists, the the additional hands that he comes with, just beautiful, just wonderful. So oh jalapeno, he comes with a jalapeno. Come on, that's awesome, right? 
He comes with a jalapeno. Too funny. That that meme went around the world for so long. It was crazy. Yeah, uh, and he comes with you know, the book of spells. You know, he he comes, he comes with so like some great, great pieces of of, uh, of accessories. Man, I'm really now now I have a reason to buy this uh, NECA backdrop wall because you know before you know what could you use it for? You could use it for Ninja Turtles. You could use it for uh, you know some random uh, you know like uh, I guess Spider Man scenes. But now with 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 Goliath, oh man, that that backdrop just looks so amazing. It, it it really just gives it a different type of presence. It looks amazing. Oh my gosh, super excited about this this character. I I I I just have like oh that mwah, mwah. yeah, just crazy, just beautiful, beautiful stuff, just incredible. Holy crap, I'm really really excited about Gargoyles. One of the one of the one of the greatest shows around that time, other than anime, which I was following. Uh, my brother really got into it, um, huge, and it's kind of funny because uh, I, I'm I'm really excited, but but he's he's kind of a little subdued. But when when I get the figure, I know he's going to lose his mind. It's it's going to be great, and yeah, th this this past uh, week, I think it was Friday, Thursday, was it Thursday? I think I think it was Thursday. Yeah, they 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 had the trailer, oh, and just. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, right? Just when you we're, we're on the we're on the we're on the cusp of actually getting these in hand. I think that the release date is sometime this next month. Just when we're about to finally start getting this, these these figures in hand, that's when they go ahead and they they do something just just crazy, like something that I guess it was I guess today it would be expected. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people expect this, these these types of things, but you know this is one of those things where I wasn't I I'll be honest I, I wasn't expecting them, but they released a trailer, right? And look at that, 64,000 views already. And it's only been a couple of days. So yeah, they, they, they released this incredible trailer, right? And we're not gonna go, we're, we're not gonna show the full trailer because you know that's that's gonna that's probably gonna get us in trouble. Um, but yeah, this 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 trailer was just oh my god, just perfection in in, in, in everything. Just you know, the way the way the, the way it uh, it animates stop motion animation oh my gosh just beautiful stuff here look at that whoever I, I don't know who did the animation but whoever they are wow just incredible beautiful stuff look at this just oh the the landscapes everything about this is just just beautiful sorry guys I gotta zoom in and out because you know I don't want to get a again oh just the lighting everything about this 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 composition was incredible I I, I, I was in love and just when you thought that it was it was over, right? Just when you thought, oh my gosh, how 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 much better can this get? He breaks into a you know, I guess a, a room full of uh, like I see he he broke down some some power lines or whatever, and look who's look who's uh, look who's there to greet him, and again he's got man he's he's pissed off right, but yeah his one time love, you know the 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 his companion for life oh my god Demona, holy crap. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my God, Demona. So, yeah, I, I, I was I was like, all right, who are they who are they gonna do first? Like, are, are they you know they they are they gonna do you know um, are they gonna do one of the main baddies? Are they gonna do you know some a, a few more of the releases for the for the figures? It was kind of weird that they only released uh, you know the very first. Like, usually they do this in waves, right? But I, I I don't I don't know I don't know what happened in this case, you know. Uh, is it because you know Gargoyles is such a is a property which you know hasn't been touched in a while, so they can't they can't risk a whole line? But I guess maybe from the response that they were getting from uh, just the release of of Goliath himself, I think that they realized you know what uh, the pre maybe the pre orders did something too, and then they're like you know what we got we got to follow this up with somebody cool, and of course who else to follow up with you know than Demona like crazy? So yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that we we will be we will be seeing Demona. Uh, very soon. So yeah, and I think that I think by that notion we can definitely see a mechanized gargoyle. Uh, you know, a la a la Jonathan Frakes. I think we can see a whole bunch. Of, we can expect a whole bunch of things. And one of the other things that really caught my caught me by surprise when I when I first watched Gargoyles, of course, was the appearance of Jonathan Frakes. Uh, and then uh, subsequently after that, uh, you know, we had Michael Dorn, and then we had um, uh, uh, M M M M Maria Sirtis, like you know, as as Demona. And then, of course, I think from if I if memory serves, I think even Patrick Stewart got in on the game at, at one point. Uh, and didn't didn't um, didn't um, 
LeVar Burton make an appearance too? Crazy. It was like it was, it was like uh, cameos from every single uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation, uh, you know, main cast. And I was blowing my mind because I was really, really, really into uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation. Still am in a lot of ways. So yeah, this man just I I I I I, I can't say enough good things about this. I'm super excited about this uh, figure that's coming out. I, I, I'm. My pre-order is in on Big Bad Toy Store. I'm really excited to be getting able. I got two of them on order. One of them for me. One of them from Dex. Uh, he doesn't know that yet, but once he gets it, I'm sure he's gonna go. He's gonna freak out because um, Goliath is one of his favorite characters, and, and Gargoyles is one of his favorite uh, shows. So yeah, really excited to uh, to to see this character realized in in uh, in toy form. Man, I, I I am stoked for this uh for the, for this release, and yeah, I I. Whew, I've got, I've got like, um, yeah, just, just, I got goosebumps uh, looking at this. It's, it's, it's just crazy. So excited for this, for, for, for this character. So excited for this release. I, I, I am, I am stoked. What do you guys think? Are you, are you guys excited as I am? Because this, this is, oh man, this is, this, this is crazy. I, I, I can't wait to get my hands on, on Goliath. He looks, he looks incredible. Um, so Rodimus Prime says one Autobot who deserves redemption in the toy uh, line is Siege. Is gears? We haven't uh, really seen a, a, a good gears toy. Ah, uh, yeah, there are a couple of masterpiece, um, third-party masterpiece figures that, that that are starting to show up for for gears. Uh, I I'm not even sure has he been announced for the um, for the uh, siege or, or kingdom line. I don't think he has. That's interesting. Maybe people don't like grumpy grumpy bots. I don't know. Uh, Hippity Hoppity, I need to rewatch Gargoyles. Yes, you do. You do need to rewatch Gargoyles. I need to rewatch Gargoyles. I think everybody needs to rewatch Gargoyles. Gargoyles was an is an amazing series. I hope they do Brooklyn after Demona. Ah, yeah, Brooklyn was fun, man. Brooklyn was a, was 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 a was a great character. Yeah, yeah, he didn't get it. He didn't get enough. In my opinion, he didn't get enough uh, uh, screen time. Really, he was. Uh, yeah, he. I, I, I also like their pet dog. What, what, sorry, their their pet uh, demon dog. What, what, uh, sorry, their their gargoyle dog. What was his name again? I can't remember. He was a lot of fun. Um, the wings look awesome. Yes, my only regret, not that it's a regret, but I'm sure a third party or uh, you know, another another um, uh, customizer will come in and do the cape. I think you know the way the way the way it drapes and and the the, the two um, the two claws kind of like pin themselves here. I think everyone's hoping for that, right? I think that's that 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 would be an amazing feature uh, if somebody can get that to, to work. That would that would be great. Princess Kagli, he looks so rad. I might just have to snag him. Honestly, Princess Kagli, go for it. He's not that expensive. He's only thirty six dollars on Big Bad Toy Store. Let's just, let's just double check. Um, so yeah, I, I would pre order it now if I were you because he's he's not going to last. Uh, Goliath, he is not going to he's not going to last. Yeah, he's only thirty two dollars. Like that is not expensive, uh, you know. And then three dollars shipping to wherever you are in, in in the United States, that's pretty good. As a matter of fact, that's pr pretty much what it is. Like you know, he's he's down. Actually, he's he's on sale. He's on sale, man. I wonder if I should cancel my order and re and rebuy him. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, he's he's estimated to arrive in July. Oh my gosh! Wow, that's crazy. Seriously. Uh, you're you're saving five bucks right now. I, I would I would I would actually do it. I would 100% uh, uh, go 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 grab Goliath. He he is looking pretty great. Of course, there is the concern, right? With all NECA characters, you know, is he is he going to be as fragile as a lot of the other figures that have have, have come before? Um, but I know, but you know what? Just why the way he looks, the way he is. No, you know what? For for me, for for me, and for what I wanted for for my collecting purposes, I really I don't want to miss out on this particular character. He looks incredible. And if Demona, if Demona actually uh, is is um, uh, as good as like, ho hopefully he'll he'll hold up, right? Hopefully he's good. He's almost eight inches tall. Like the guy's massive for thirty seven dollars for an eight inch figure. That's not bad. That's actually really great, really good value. I think so. Yeah, I I, I would definitely I would definitely uh, pull the trigger if I were you, Princess Kegley. Uh, you know, I don't think you'll regret it. Uh, Nathan, that that loincloth, yeah, that loincloth is is pretty sick, right? <laughs> oh, that loincloth! I don't even think it's a loincloth. I think I, th I think that's actually his uh, his sash. Uh, Rodimus, uh, I would put a pickle Rick in Goliath's hand. Uh, it might fit. 
you know, it actually might fit. But I think he'd uh, he wouldn't survive because uh, Goliath is into jalapenos. Um, Tristan, uh, thigh log repaint when? Ha ha ha! Oh my gosh, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure. Who knows? Uh, Jermaine, yes, I will be picking him up. Grab him, Jermaine. Grab him as soon as you can because I don't think he's going to last, especially after that video. I think that video blew people's. I think a video blew people's minds. It was pretty. It was pretty crazy. Can't get any bigger than that. Eh? All right. Yeah. I don't. I, th I think that it, it it literally blew people's minds and uh, in a lot of ways opened people's minds. It was it was it was pretty crazy. Uh, Aldry four seventy three. Uh, hey Jay, how's how's it going? I'm doing well, Aldry. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, for joining the stream. Uh, Tristan, Captain Janeway from Voyager was Queen Zed. Oh, was she really? Cool. I didn't know that. Awesome. Hippity hoppity. It was a Star Trek re reunion. Yeah, it was actually. It, it actually was uh, because uh, I think, I think uh, either it was still going or it had just ended. I think. I think. I think uh, you might be right. It, it might have just ended the uh, the the TNG run. It might have might have just ended around that time. Queen Titania. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Wow, that's awesome. Dark Primus. Uh, at DGDX official did that stop motion. Nice. Gonna have to look them up. Thank you for thank you for letting us know, Darth Primus. That's awesome. Can't wait to see Goliath when it comes in. Neither can I, my friend. Neither can I. He looks incredible. Um, the dog was Bronx. Bronx. That's right, Bronx. He was awesome, man. I, I like Bronx. He was really cool. I thought it was fun. Uh, how do Ronnie Gaming? Uh, they did a callback in one of the latest episodes of DuckTales Reboot uh, with Goliath. Nice. I didn't know that. Uh, does it, has anybody watched? Like, Obviously, I, I guess how do uh, you, you've watched it. Is it any good? Because, um, you know, I grew up with, with DuckTales and a whole bunch of a Disney afternoons. So I'm hoping it's fun. I'm hoping it's good. So, yeah, guys, please tell me. Is, is, DuckTales, is, is DuckTales any good? Barry Allen. Hey, Barry. Good to see you. Thanks, Jay. I just pre-ordered it. And the American price is about $47. So Canadian will probably... Be around sixty. Are you talking about forty-seven with with uh, the the shipping, uh, Barry? Let me know because, as far as I can tell, it's uh, um, it says it here. It's it's um, here. It's only thirty-two ninety-nine. So thirty-two ninety-nine plus three dollars shipping, right? Uh, if you're talking about shipping it up to Canada, is it is it's forty-seven dollars? Okay, that that's that's something. So sixty bucks Canadian. That's not bad when you think about it for uh, like. The Ninja Turtles are, are more or less the same cost, uh, you know, to get them up here. And any any uh, Super Seven figures, man, they're like eighty, they're like seventy five, eighty dollars here. So I still think it's a very good value. It's crazy. Um, I was hoping, I was hoping, crossing my fingers that uh, you know, uh, EB Games might have announced it by now, but they haven't. So yeah, maybe they maybe they will coming soon, you know. And once that happens, I'll pick up another one because you know, depending on the price. But we'll see what happens. Aldri, Goliath's wingspan alone is worth the money you're paying for him. Yeah, one hundred percent. He's freaking huge. I mean, look, 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 look at this wingspan. This wingspan is freaking ridiculous, man. Like, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Come on. Holy cow. I think end to end, he's like eleven. Like you know, holy crap. He he. It must be at least a foot long. That's crazy. That is nuts. Whew. Mark Manet. Hey, Mark. Good to see you. Hello. Do you collect the Solo Chokugin uh, VFS1 figure um, across fighters? Any plans to? I would love to. I would love to. Uh, but as I said before in the past, uh, SOC is very expensive these days. I mean, we're going to talk about an SOC figure here today, which is nearly unobtainable. Like, seriously. Um, it's And not so much because of the money. The money is one thing. 100%. The money is one thing, but it's the size of the freaking box from Japan. I mean, you know... We, we we've got we've got Unicron up here, well, you know, um, bar none. We we we've got Unicron up here, right? That's one thing. But it didn't come from Japan. It came from it, you know, it, it came from uh, China, uh, which went to Hasbro, and Hasbro took care of the shipping. So coming straight from Japan, you know, Big Bad Toy Store is going to put a markup on it. Then they're going to actually put, you know, anyway, we're going to get to that. We're we're going to get to that mark. But um, I would love to get a so, uh, an SOC uh, Valkyrie, one hundred percent. I would I would I would love to, I would love to get one. Uh, you know, bar none. I would love to get you know the the skull and crossbones, one hundred percent. 
Uh, Tristan, DuckTales Reboot is great. It's a reboot done right. Perfect. I'm going to have to take a look at it. Thank you for letting me know. H-Man. Hey, H-Man. Good to see you. Do you trust NECA's quality? Actually, to be perfectly honest with you, the answer is no. Um, I have too many collector friends up here in Canada who who just have have cried in the you know cried in their beer because to be perfectly you know um, one of my friends, uh, uh, Maro, he he basically opened up his 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 crank figure and he was playing with it for a little while and snap that 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 telltale NECA snap. And I got to tell you, it was, it was, it, I would cry, I, I would, I cried for him. Like, uh, you know, uh, I was freaking super tight for, for Conan. I was, I was like, you know, why do you cry? I said, he's, he, you know, he's Sumerian. He doesn't cry. So I cry for him. Like, you know, like crazy. It, it was, it was, it was, it was nuts. So, uh, yeah. And I, I have, I have a uh, Krang, uh, you know, I, I picked him up, uh, through a trade and I'm scared to take him out of the box, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's crazy. And I also have Bebop and Rocksteady and, you know, uh, cartoon versions scared to take, scared to take them out of the box. So yeah. Uh, do I trust that quality? It's hit and miss. Honestly, I have the, I have like all of the team uh, movie turtles. I've got the Raphael and, uh, and Casey Jones two pack over here. I've got, uh, the, the San Diego comic-con, uh, shredder, uh, captured, captured splinter, um, four pack. Yeah. I I'm, I'm, I'm very, very skeptical. I'm very, very scared to take all those guys out and play with them. It's, 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 it's sad. It's just a sad thing. Uh, how do gaming? The DuckTales reboot, dude. If you grew, you've grown up with the Disney shows, it's a nice visit back to the childhood callbacks and planted seeds for Darkwing Duck, Goof Troop, and Quack Pack, Tailspin, etc. Oh, nice. So, th does that mean that they're all actually inhabiting the same universe? Because that would be interesting. Because I always felt that. Um, Tailspin was uh, somewhere like like way back earlier before any of the uh, you know because because um, Cape Suzette it seems like a, a really remote location compared to Duckburg or compared to you know where where Duck, uh, you know Darkwing Duck City um, that, where that looks like much more modern compared to to the way you know the, the way Cape Suzette looks and Cape Suzette again they they have active warfare against pirates right it it, it was just one of those things kind of interesting. Almost like they were, in the, you know, in the in the in the sixties or, so, or in the in the fifties or sixties. Uh, Rodimus, David Tennant, the tenth Doctor, was Scrooge in the in the Ducktales reboot. It was really good. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I must, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to take a look at it now. Barry Allen, yes, it's the American. It's it's American with all uh, with all that. It's like thirty two dollars tax, and it's about fourteen dollars shipping and handling. And NECA, from what I said, from what I heard. Uh, one more time, Barry. Uh, it's a it, that is American. Okay, so uh, it's all in all in all is thirty two dollars. The tax is about fourteen. Uh, uh, the it, tax is in, and then fourteen dollars shipping up to Canada. Handling uh, and NECA, from what I heard, said that it's a USA exclusive only, and EB Games did have it for, for pre and, and EB Games did have it for, for pre order. Really, EB Games had it, or or are you talking about GameStop, Barry? Because I, I I've been calling EB Games like crazy, and they they've never said. That Goliath was ever on the on on the the call sheet. EB Games had to take it. Oh, okay, okay. So they had it, and then they took it down. So it's not coming up to Canada. Oh, Barry, that's crazy, man. Good thing, good, good. You know, good thing we have options. Good thing we have options. Tristan, when I talked to the guy at Toy Snowman about NECA gargoyles, he said that there's some sort of licensing issue with NECA releasing gargoyles in Canada. I hope that changes. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Yeah, that does. Anyway, um, for me, I'm not waiting. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, and you know, I suggest to everybody, if you can import it, uh, you know, through Big Bad Toy Store or some other method, I would suggest you do it. He looks amazing, and that means that he's just gonna be so sought after, uh, trying to get him up here in Canada. Just nuts. Jermaine, I don't open up any. I don't open up any of my NECA figures. I, honestly, I, I, I really, really want to. I want to open up NECA figures so badly. They look so amazing. I might, I might do the the the, the TMNT turtles, the, um, the the movie turtles. I heard that they're not so bad, but I have heard that you know I've heard a lot of horror stories for um, for uh, some of the the cartoon turtles. I've heard I've heard a lot, and like I said, uh, some of the guys in my group uh, have suffered greatly at the hands of of the NECA uh, quality. Uh, Sledge, hey, you're Sledge, good to see you, brother. Agreed. The Ducktales reboot is pretty good, especially uh, it's more closer to Car Banks' vision by having Donald in the main cast. Oh, Donald's in there. Nice, that's cool. I like that. Uh, H Man, I collect uh, Gentle Giant. 
uh, Star Wars minibus figures, uh, some sideshow figures, and Ben Presto from anime figures. These companies I trust in quality. Yep, I I, I do agree. Yeah, N NECA NECA is it's sort of a hit and miss. You uh, you just don't know what you're going to get. And out of all the companies out there, I don't know what it is, but they're the they're the only ones who seem to have this um, reputation of oh it's it's NECA. You just got to live with it. And I I do have to agree with Michael French in this. That's not the kind of thing you should you should settle for. If, if, if a company is selling you, uh, you know, products which are, you know, uh, not up to standard for, like, action figures, more more complaining and more um, more backlash should happen. But I'll tell you right now, I love the way they look. The sculpting is just, like, par, bar none. Amazing. And I think that's the problem. I, I want this figure, and I might not even take, like Jermaine, I might not even take him out of the box. Right, but I do want him out of the box. I want to see that gigantic wingspan. I want to, I, I want to, I want to touch and feel this guy. You know, he he is just he is an amazing figure, and I I, I want to enjoy this figure one hundred percent. And it's going to be a shame if I can't manipulate him, if I can't actually get him into those action poses. Once Demona is released, I, I, I you know, it would be so sad. It would be so sad if Demona's uh, released, and and you can't have that iconic. You know, stare down, right? Or, or that you know, before they, before they, uh, uh, you know, were cursed and uh, you know, uh, to to uh, for the hundred years, you know, that that they that they were um, that they were stone, right? Uh, we, we, you, you could have that one scene where you, you know that several scenes where you know they were they were madly in love with each other. So yeah, it, it's 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 crazy uh, to think that 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 won't happen, right? Um, Somebody's got to have some solution to this eventually. There's, there's got to be something. I don't know. I don't know if it, if it involves like really just uh, you know taking a drill bit and freaking like you know connecting new um, new joints or whatever. Uh, that would suck. But if if it means that you can actually do some real manipulation with these guys, I don't know. Some, some sometimes drastic measures have to happen. So yeah, it, it it would be very unfortunate if something like that was to happen. But damn, they do look good, guys. I, I have to I have to say, and for the cost. I think that's really where everything boils down to. They used to be pretty expensive, right, NECA? But ever since they were able to get in, in, in with Target and in with, in with uh, Walmart, the cost just dropped like crazy. So now, with the with the with the with the the sculpts that you get for the price point that you get, I think people are just willing to to take the hit. I think that's the problem because they break. Somebody just runs back over to the Target or runs back over to Walmart and grabs another one, never opens it again, and just is happy with what they get. I think that's the problem. Whereas if you get a figure like Super Seven, you know, a standard, a, 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 your basic He-Man buck, which has been around for like better part of almost fifteen years, twenty years now, right? It's getting up there, right? It's it, this buck has been around forever. It's Mattel's, you know, uh, He-Man buck. It's tried, it's tested, it's everything like that. So you know this thing's going to work. Right. If this ever broke for freaking seventy five dollars Canadian, fifty, uh, you know, forty nine ninety nine US, people would lose their freaking minds. They would literally be be banging on the doors of Super Seven and Mattel, saying, "What the heck are you selling us?" Right. I think that's that's the real problem. Whereas you get a figure for twenty four dollars or or thirty dollars, um, you know, uh, for NECA, and people it breaks, and you're kind of like, yeah, you know, it it looks amazing. So. Maybe I can maybe I can just buy another one, right? You buy two just in case, right? Like I think that's what people have been doing. I think people have just been buying two and hoping for the best, right? And and you know that that's not right. That's not the way it's supposed to be. But you know, NECA, NECA has, has has figured out this magical formula where they're selling people like substandard goods, but at the same time, again, I want that I want that Goliath figure. I want it. I want it so badly. Uh, Barry, what do you think of the NECA character of Kurt Russell from The Thing? You know, I love The Thing. I thought The Thing was, um, I thought The Thing was an amazing movie. Uh, you know, John Carpenter, great special effects. Um, what was his name? Even Kurt Russell in, in the movie, I can't remember anymore. Uh, yeah, I mean, he looks great. You know, one hundred percent, he looks amazing. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I'm not sure if I would collect uh, that particular uh, figure set, mostly because. I love the thing, but it's a movie which I watched once and I, I really loved it. And I never, I've never really watched it again ever. So, yeah, it's just one of those one of those uh, amazing movies that you know I'll watch it like once every once every few years. But uh, 
it, just to see the special effects. But other than that, you know, it was like, eh, you know, it was, it was kind of cool. So he does look amazing, bar none, you know, but at the same time, do I want to collect the dude in the snow in, in a snowsuit? You know, I live in Canada, so I mean, I see people like that all the time. So, uh, Darth Primus, uh, DGD X official was on par on Parallel Universe channel earlier today talking about the Goliath stop motion action and the figure. Uh, DGDX said he we uh, he was worried that it, th that about the breakage, but it didn't. Oh, Ooh. interesting. Fingers crossed because we really don't know. We don't know. Even a stop motion animation guy, uh, I'll be honest with you. Here's 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 the thing about that. Uh, most people like I, I've seen this actually. A lot of people who do stop stop motion animation, they will literally break figures on purpose to actually re put in new joints so that they can manipulate it better. So I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I, if uh, how I don't. I'm not saying that he's lying, but it wouldn't surprise me. If he re manipulated the character or re rejigged the character to actually work better with with what he was doing, so honestly, the other thing is that I, I wonder if Neca actually you know went to the trouble of actually creating uh, you know a figure with softer softer plastic to in order for to to make it easier for him to to use. It's hard to say, but anyway, my fingers are crossed because if that's true, that is incredible. I would love I would love for, I would love to have it and for that to happen and. I would love for that to happen for new new figures that they're, they're they're releasing. God, just just you just don't know. You just don't know. Uh, did you toe for? Did you do a toe hand for Major Blood? Yes, uh, there's a whole video on it, Barry. <laughs> it was uh, two weeks ago, I think. Um, yeah, um, just go back and look for look for a video type uh, titled uh, um, "Hunting for Blood" or something like that. Uh, can't remember exactly what it was called, but anyway. Look, look, look for it. It's 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 out there. I, I I went all the way to Guelph, Ontario, to go hunt uh, to go hunt for Major Blood. Where am I here? Oh, there it is. Uh, DGD, uh, DGDX said NECA only has a license to sell gargoyle in the U.S. That's weird. Why is that? That is so odd. Who has the license here in Canada? That is so strange. Too bad. Um, Tristan, seriously debating a top of the castle replica display for the gargoyles. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah, that, that, that would be awesome. Uh, one thing I'm hoping for, which so far it doesn't look like it, but I, I would like to see if, if, if they can do the, you know, the you know, the, the, the kind of pose that, that uh, the Goliath likes to take whenever he becomes a statue, where he's just kind of like, you know, just hunching over and, 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 and you know, the, the thinking man pose, right? I, I, I would hope that uh, that, they, that, they, that he could do that, but I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, Jay, in your opinion, what's uh, on the upcoming Bumblebee figure that that the chances that changes into his G one cartoon Cybertronian vehicle? Uh, I'm not sure I'm following you, uh, Rodimus. I'm not really sure I understand. Like upcoming Bumblebee figure that changes to G one cartoon Cybertronian vehicle. Are you talking about the two pack with uh, with um, uh, what's it called? Um, Oh gosh, uh, you're not talking about um, uh, the Bumblebee and Spike two pack, are you, Rodimus? You're talking about something else. I, I, I'm not really sure. I, ha I haven't seen it. Uh, is it a, is it a new release for for Kingdom? Because um, yeah, I would I would pick up uh, a figure for sure. Um, I already have a Bumblebee, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind another one. Uh, Aldrey four seventy three. Uh, Jay, do you think that NECA's are cutting cost manufacturing as well uh, because uh, as well because of the price cut? Um. Well, what do you mean by price cut, though, Aldri? Are you talking about because they were able to get into Walmart stores that they were able to, that, that they need to to, to um, reduce their quality? Uh, well, a no, because um, even even their original figures from back in the day they were fragile as hell. Uh, so I mean that that actually has not changed. Uh, Neca figures, by their very nature, are fragile. Um, Getting more, uh, you know, getting getting larger volume. No, actually, I, th I think that uh, that means they can afford to do more. Uh, will they do more? That I don't know. Um, cutting costs, I don't know. The, like, uh, if they're going to stay at this price point, they might have to increase the price, right? Um, I think that that's possible. A, a price increase might happen. I think that's a big possibility. I'm not sure that they would cut costs because, uh, although, although although I know where you're coming from, and and I don't disagree. Uh, you know that that's a possibility. Um, 
they already have enough uh, bad blood with the with, with, with the community as it is. Uh, not bad blood, but uh, th th they already have a lot of complaints from the community as it is. So it would not, it would not be in their best interest to uh, to try and um, get away with something uh, even even more outrageous uh, by, by 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 slashing um, you know uh, QC because their QC is already terrible as it is. So you know it, it would be it would be pretty pretty ridiculous if they tried something like that. Uh, Hippity hoppity. I just got super glue from the NECA. Uh, I just put I just super glue the NECA fig and put it on a shelf. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people have had to do have had to settle for that uh, hippity hoppity, but it's not something you should settle for, honestly. Mister Fantastic, hey, Mister Fantastic, good to see you, brother. Uh, hey, Jay, uh, the Neca Goliath looks amazing. I have pre I have one pre ordered. Can't wait to see more of the main characters. Neither can I. Uh, I am very very excited, Mister Fantastic. Holy crap. David Jones, uh, did you get the arc? Yes, it's on. It's on. It's on uh, uh, reserve. I have reserved the arc, David. Uh, Barry Allen, sorry, I haven't been on YouTube in a while. Just been busy. You don't have to apologize, Barry. It's all good. Uh, are you going to open up your Batman Beyond uh, into display? Into display and, and uh, have him flying? Um, yeah, uh, I was able to pick this guy up. I don't know if anybody saw it. Uh, obviously, Barry, Barry seen it. So yeah, really excited about this guy. He looks amazing. Um, so yeah. I'm not really sure if I'm going to display him. Uh, I have very little display space as it is, as you guys know. Um, but uh, yeah, um, the, the way I'd like to do it is I'd like to actually have a shelf where I can cycle different displays and different dioramas that I, I'm hoping to make. And yeah, if it does happen, eventually, he might actually go up there. Now, I'm hoping they release more Batman Beyond figures because right now it seems to just be him. Um, haven't seen any other figures that, uh, that, were, that were in the cartoon, so we shall see. Old IT guy. Um, hey, old IT guy. Good to see you, brother. I uh, just got here. Where can I pre-order some of the Disney gargoyles? All right. We were talking about that just now, um, old IT guy. Uh, yeah. M m your best bet, honestly, is to uh, try to get them from uh, Big Bad Toy Store and have it shipped up here. Uh, that's that's the biggest uh, – I think that's your best option right now. Uh, I think Toy Snowman might have gotten uh, uh, a supply of it. Let's just double check. Toy Snowman, yeah. Um, somebody can correct me right away if uh, if I'm wrong, but uh, just to double check, let's find out. Goliath, yep. Nope, Goliath is uh, is not on Toy Snowman. Let's check Redshift Red Shift Seven. No, Goliath is not available at Redshift 7 either. So, yeah, kind of. It doesn't look like any of the regular um, Canadian distributors uh, are able to get him. It's crazy. That is nuts. Um, but let's go check. Uh, what's it called? Um, let's go check mftoys.ca. All right, mftoys.ca. Let's have a look. No, even M even even mftoys.ca doesn't seem to have uh, does not seem to have Goliath. So yeah, your best bet right now, um, old IT guy, is definitely uh, Big Bad Toy Store or I think um, uh, Entertainment Earth maybe. Yep, Entertainment Earth also has also has him available too. So yeah, uh, either of those distributors is is uh, probably a re probably your best bet at this stage, um, and Big Bad Toaster has it on 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 special right now for thirty two ninety nine, so that's actually really good. Uh, yeah, and so does Entertainment Earth. So yeah, definitely, um, old IT guy. That is definitely, uh, in my opinion, uh, probably probably one of the better places to go pick them up. Kevin Masters, hey Kevin, good to see you, brother. We were just talking about you a little earlier. Um, I'm doing good. And yourself, Sledge. What are your thoughts on toys uh, on Toy R Us latest video about Motu Origins? It seems that he is sorry, Toy Gurus. What is your what are your thoughts on Toy Gurus latest video about Motu Origins? It seems he's empty. He's implying it's run. What? It's run you utes. It's run. I'm sorry, Sledge. I don't understand. What's your thoughts on Toy, toy Gurus latest video about Motu Origins? It seems he is implying. It's run -uts. It's run -uts? Course. It's run its course. Oh, okay. 
uh, 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 he's supposed to imply it's run its course. Uh, I don't know. I've never, I haven't watched uh, Toy Guru's latest video, and uh, to, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think so. I think uh, I think Origins is is doing really well. I think that uh, you know, for me anyway, uh, I'm I'm all in. I, I love uh, Moto Origins. Like uh, all all the figures that that they're releasing so far are, are incredible. Uh, I can't. I, I'm trying my best to find Hordak. I'm trying my best to find, uh, you know, all, all the other figures that have been released. I can't wait until the. Um, I can't wait until the Wind Raider comes out. I can't wait until, um, you know, uh, what, what are some of the other uh, th announcements that, that that were made? I can't wait until, uh, you know, I see the new Grizzlor. I can't wait until I see, um, you know, the the Horde Troopers. Uh, any any of those any of those figures. I can't. I'm I'm, I'm super excited for all the, the for the whole line. So I'm not sure why Tor Gu Toy Guru would say something like that, but um, no, I'm 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 super excited for the rest of the line. So, yeah, more vehicles, more playsets. I, I, I hope that um, I hope that Snake Mountain is produced. I hope that a whole bunch of a whole bunch of different figures are 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 released. Um, the Keldor and Chronos two pack, amazing. Uh, you know, so yeah, uh, I have no idea why he would say that. That really makes very little sense to me. Uh, Noel, good to see you, brother. Mr. J, happy Sunday, brother. Do you agree that this is the new age for figures? I mean, Motu Origins, TMNT, Ultimates, Joe Classified, Marvel, and DC. I, I've been saying it for I've been saying it for quite some time now, ever since I started uh, you know, going hardcore on this. I do think that this is probably um, you know, the renaissance, not, not not you know, the second coming of uh, the 80s uh, toy collecting. We haven't seen uh, something like this for, for quite some time, and I'm very, very excited, very, very happy to see it happening. So yeah, I do. I don't know if it's a golden age yet. I mean, we're plagued with problems, you know, trying to be able to get these guys. Uh, you know, the golden age of, of figures is when you were a kid and and they were just like you know stuffed the store shelves. You could just walk into any Walmart. You could walk into any Wilco. You could walk into any Towers. You could walk into any Target. You could walk into any um, Sears. You know, Simpsons. You could walk into any of these department stores. The Bay, uh, Canadian Tire. You can walk anywhere into any of these wonderful stores, and you can just literally pick a figure off the shelf and and walk home with it. Like that was the golden age of toys, right? Now, uh, as it stands, um, you know, exclusives for Walmart, exclusives for Target. Yeah, it's 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 got its ups and downs, but definitely in terms of being a collector, yeah, you can't beat it, man. You can't. It's just a wonderful time to be a collector. To be a hunter, it's even it's even crazier. But yeah, to be to be a collector, once you once you get your hands on one of the figures, you, you're you're golden. You're just you're just so happy, just so so happy. Uh, Rodimus Prime, uh, no Jay, it's Bumblebees from yeah for for, for the buzz one for the buzzworthy Bumblebee line. Yeah, so that's what. So it's uh, so wait, uh, they're doing another one. So um, so is so it's is it not the one that includes Spike with Spike Spike with Wiki? You know where he doesn't have a face, because uh, you know uh, it was on sale at Target uh, last week for eight dollars. So I picked it up, right? And it's it's at the border right now, waiting for me to to to, to get it uh, passed over. So yeah, like eight bucks, I can do it up here in Canada. Twenty four dollars for Spike Wiki and Bumblebee. Actually, I think it's even more than that. Uh, and you can't even sp see Spike's face, and his legs don't articulate, his arms don't articulate. Yeah. That I would not spend twenty four dollars on that. I waited for a sale, and Target had it for eight ninety nine. Automatically picked it up. So that's that's uh, that that's 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 what I think about uh, that Bumblebee. I, I wasn't too impressed, to be honest with you. His arms are, aren't aren't even that great, to be honest with you. Uh, Kevin, do you have any classic nineteen eighty seven Transformers toys? Um, I have a few. Um, I still I I have my Aerial Bots. I think they're they're over here somewhere. Um. Yeah, my, my aerial bots are buried buried here somewhere. I can't remember where exactly. Um, man, I'm sweating. It <laughs> it's air conditioned in my house, and I'm still sweating. I think it's the lights. But uh, yeah, I have the aerial bots still. I have uh, six shot. Um, my friend, my good friend Will, who's in, who's here, he 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 gave me uh, um, a reissue of Optimus Prime, no trailer. So yeah, I do I do have a few G1 Transformers, a few reissues. Uh, I do have um, a reissued Prowl, reissued, uh, reissued um, Jazz. So yeah, I do have a few, but um, um, not too many, unfortunately. It's been a while. Uh, Dark Fly, hey, Dark Fly, good to see you, brother. Uh, thanks, you, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining the chat. 
Uh, what up, Jade? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for thank you for asking. Aldry, uh, gotcha, Jay. I hope they improve somehow or make uh, sure quality gets better. Only time will tell, my friend. Only time will tell. But you know what? They're they're in Walmart and Target, and they still haven't they still not have not improved their quality. So, yeah, it's tough to say. It's tough to say whether or not uh, they will uh, eventually improve. But we can always hope. And we can always dream, my friend. That that is the goal. Uh, Tristan, expect a call from EB next week or so for my Kingdom Wave three pre pre orders to come in. That's awesome, dude. Really excited for those guys. I'll tell this channel. Hey, I'll tell this channel. Good to see you. Uh, Kevin, my auto transforming Optimus Prime arrived. Beautiful. To be honest, the features get boring after a few days, and he's being uh, featured in my glass case in the lounge room right now, but a good show off uh, for th uh, things for guests. Yeah, that was my biggest concern, Kevin. I don't know if I, I, I might have actually even said that in, in a chat. Uh, I can't remember if I did or not. But I literally was like, I know myself. I'm going to enjoy it for a week, and then it's going to sit there on my shelf. Uh, you know, that's what I believe I did say that. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to have to go back and uh, and watch that video. But yeah, I think I did actually say those exact words. Uh, so, but you know what? It, still, marvel of technology. You can control it from your Bluetooth phone. It auto transforms. He speaks. You know what I mean? And yeah, I mean, honestly, don't don't regret that, Kevin. It's an amazing, amazing piece of technology. I'm uh, congratulations, man. That's that that must be incredible. You are amazing, Tristan. TF Toys had him. Uh, only Canadian retailer I saw with them. Okay, TFT Toys. Okay, well, let's let's find out. TFT Toys. All right, here we go. TFT Toys and let's see Goliath. You're right. Okay. So if anybody here is Canadian and they're interested in getting Goliath at holy crap. Uh, unfortunately, not anymore. He was $44.99, was reduced to $39.99. Damn, that's a good price. Holy crap. Oh my god, that, that's an amazing price. Unfortunately, it sold out. Oh boy. Okay, so it went from forty four ninety nine and went down to thirty nine ninety nine. That 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 is an amazing price. Even forty four, even forty four ninety nine is a good price for Canadians. Yeah, unfortunately, he sold out. Thanks for the heads up on that one. Um, sorry, I didn't even. Yeah, thanks for the heads up on that one, uh, Tristan. Um, yeah, that would have been nice. He was forty four ninety nine, but now he's thirty, and, and then he went down to thirty nine ninety nine, and then he got sold out. Man, that really sucks. Oh well, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. Maybe they were able to get in a small uh, shipment of them, but just before uh, NECA closed it off. Crazy. Were you able to get it, uh, Tristan? Pre-ordered my Goliath through Dorkside Toys, though. Yeah, that's exactly what I would uh, I, I would I would expect. A uh, lot, lot of lot of folks have to uh, Canadian folks anyway also have to have to go through uh, Can uh, U.S. retailers. One hundred percent. Old IT guy, Goliath on top of the Castle Grayskull would be an awesome display. Actually, that, that actually would really be cool. Uh, but I think he would be too big. Uh, uh, the uh, It would have to be the Classics Grayskull. I think that's the only place he would really uh, fit. Uh, because the 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 Origins Grayskull, he would look really way too big. Uh, Richard Seven is my go-to store. He's also located in, this, in, a, in the same city as you. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and you're ordering from, from Big Bad Toy Store now. Nice. Kevin, is Dino Riders coming soon? I'm so, uh, like, like uh, I, I have no Dino Riders to show you, Kevin, as you know. Uh, but the the review, uh, you know, I really should do it. I, I know, I know, Kevin. I always say it, but uh, it's tough, brother. You know, these days especially. Uh, Hippity Hoppy, Silverhawks, yeah, Silverhawks, Silverhawks. I'm all in. I'm all in. Hippity Hoppity. I am all in on the Silverhawks, 100. percent Barry Allen, are you going to collect the line of Silverhawks? I just said it, Barry. 100% I'm going to go collect those. Those those things are right in my wheelhouse. Uh, Jay, my nephew asked me recently why adults are collecting toys when he feels toys should be for left for kids. My answer was adults used to be kids that never grew up. Do you agree? The answer is yes, Kevin. You should tell your nephew that uh, – you should actually ask your nephew, do you still play with toys? See what his response is. And then uh, then remind him that, you know what? Yeah, we, we used to be kids, and now we can buy whatever we want, kid. We can buy whatever we want. 
Uh, Jay, are your toys insured? You need some con. You, you need some content insurance. Uh my house is insured, but are the toys insured? No, the 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 the. the uh, as much as I do like these toys, and, and uh, you know they 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 have a certain monetary value to them. No, I, it, it's kind of crazy to insure toys. That's just a waste of money. I would literally be spending more money just to just to just to make sure that the toys are intact. Um, like anything, like many things in life, there are th there are a lot more things that are more important than uh, than um, than action figures and uh, other material goods, right? Um, you know. The people who are important to me, those are the things that I that 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 uh, that mean the most to me, right? You know, my, you know, my, my my family, my friends. That's really important. And you know, having toys is fun, one hundred percent. But if this was all to disappear tomorrow, all of this, or if I had to sell it, or if I had to do something drastic, yeah, I wouldn't regret it. I wouldn't regret it one bit. I would I would try my best to get them all back when I when I have the means. But no, I would not. I would not even think twice uh, compared to. Uh, Compared to family, friends, and 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 a lot of other things that uh, that are more important to me, uh, insuring it, nah, it's just a waste of money. I mean, if 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 there's a fire tomorrow, you know, um, getting out of the house first, making sure that uh, you know core is is safe, and make sure that everybody else in in the, in the neighborhood is safe. That's what comes first. Toys are materials. Toys, toys, they're fun, they're great, but they can be replaced. People can't. That's 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 what what it boils down to. Uh, Kevin, I regret buying the auto transforming Optimus Prime. Uh, a waste, to be honest. No, don't say that, Kevin. Please don't say that. Uh, I, I think, I think that if you enjoyed it, and if people enjoy it when they come over, and you know, you you, you get to you get to share it with other people, and that's that's the real joy of, of action figures of toys. Share them. Share what you have, uh, Kevin, because other people uh, get joy from from sharing, right? So you know. Make it a party trick. Make it something that you pull out so that the kids have fun with it. You know that they that that, uh, that, that you know, because kids are the ones who are going to have the most fun with that. I've always said that kids are going to have the most fun with that toy. So you know what? Share it. You know, let other people enjoy what you what you have. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, it is what it, 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 it was. It, it is what it is. And you know what? It's a wonderful collector's piece, and it will only increase in value. That thing is not going to decrease in value. That 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 thing is a one of a kind collector's item. So yeah. It, Take solace in the fact that, that that you can enjoy it and you can help to other people to enjoy it. So, dude, don't regret. Don't regret it. Uh, Rodimus, uh, just Google Origins Buzz, Buzz uh, Origins Bumblebee Buzzworthy. All right, I'll double check. But why Origins? Okay, that's interesting. All right, fine. That is different. That is uh, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, now you have my attention. Uh, not that you didn't have my attention. I mean, like I uh, like I would I, I would I would pay attention regardless. But yes, definitely. Okay, that's different. That is one hundred percent. Oh my gosh, he's got the energon rods. Nice. Okay, that's different. Now you got my attention because he definitely looks 100% different than the buzzworthy crap bumblebee that I picked up for eight bucks. All right, that's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a Cybertronian form. Well played. Well played, Hasbro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this looks like something I must have. Yeah, that looks like one that I'm going to have to grab. Yeah. You did it again, Hasbro. You got me. You got me, Hasbro. Damn it. Damn. God damn. He got me. Oh, they got me. Oh. Oh, they got me good. Damn you, Hasbro. Damn you. Got me good. You got me. Once again. He, they they figured me out. Not that not that it's hard to figure me out. I'm, I'm actually easy to figure out. But damn, yeah. Thanks, Rodimus. Uh, another thing to waste my money on. Uh, old Antigua. Two of toys will have to add uh, to my list of retailers. 
Uh, we need more Canadian retailers, 100%, uh, old IT guy. My nephew is only five. Your, your nephew is going to learn that uh, toys are for everybody. <laughs> uh, old IT guy. I had to do uh, little no toys as kids. I had little to no toys as a kid. Oh, I'm just sorry to hear that, uh, old IT guy. Now I can afford everything I missed out on. Uh, that's why I collect. Yes, I, 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 I'm of the same opinion. <laughs> Kevin, it's, it's great that you don't take uh, toy collecting too seriously. I appreciate the passion, but you, you're not too obsessed over it. By the way, who's Cora? Uh, you keep mentioning him or her. Uh, it's Cor, actually. I, I keep mentioning Cor. He's my roommate and my, uh, my business partner. Yeah, we've been friends for years. Uh, you, every now and then you'll see him in the videos uh, or a, gl a glimpse of him. Uh, he's always, he's always, he's, um, He's, he's, you know, he's, he's my voice of reason a lot of times. Like, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of pissed off that the, the house is so full of toys, <laughs> but he, 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 he allows me to, uh, uh, you know, to, to do the things I do. So, you know, I really do appreciate his friendship over the years and, and, uh, you know, we've been, we've been friends first, uh, business partners second. Um, and that's always been the way it's been. So, you know, uh, funnily enough, he loves Transformers and he transforms him, my Transformers more than I do. So, you know, there's there's a little bit of give and take that way. And he's the guy who keeps messing around with the shelf back here, uh, keeps rearranging it. And uh, yeah, he, sa he says, oh, it's good for your channel. Uh, get people get to see something different every time. And I'm like, yeah, but then things things tend to go, not missing, but they get misplaced. So it kind of bugs me a little bit. But yeah, Core is, uh, is a good friend of mine. Actually, you know what? He's my best friend. I, I I I can I can truly say that right now. Core is my best friend, one hundred percent. I've had a lot of I've had a lot of best friends in the past, but Core is my absolute best friend. Uh, Kevin, I saw a YouTube video about the weirdest toy uh, uh, WTF toys. What would be your top WTF to uh, list of toys? Uh you know what, Kevin? That's a that's a question for for another day because I've I've, I've known a lot of toys in the past. So you know, if you're talking about you know. Um, the crotch gun. Uh, I have a funny feeling that's what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, uh, that would definitely rank up as one of my one of my top ten, one hundred percent, top five, one hundred percent. Barry Allen. Uh, yeah, I agree. I don't have uh, many toys insured. Uh, the only one I would grab uh, would be my leg legacy Millennium Falcon. Yeah, that that would be quite the that would be quite the one to uh, to put under glass for sure. Uh, Kevin, Master Universe is just killing it right now. Are you planning on getting the new toy line? Uh, absolutely, I'm all in. The Masterverse looks amazing. Uh, you know, guys like um, uh, Pixel Dan, who is a, a, a true, true, true Master Universe freak, he's sort of iffy about it. But for me, I, I, I'm, I'm loving the line. I, I love the way he looks. He's got this boyish face, but I don't care. You know, I, I, I seven inches compared to six inches. Battle Cat looks incredible. Um, like I said, Evil Lynn looks, looks amazing. Yeah, I'm all in on the Masterverse, 100%. Sledge, after seeing Super 7 Ultimates Disney line, I really want Super 7 Ultimates Asterix. An, uh, you really want a Super 7 Ultimates, Ultimates Asterix line. Yeah, you know, Asterix is, a, is, is a, in terms of a French cartoon, it, it, it really is amazing. Um, a lot of people just don't know it here in North America. So I think it would be hard to sell that here. It would literally, I think it would literally have to be a European brand. It didn't have the same penetration as uh, Peo's uh, um, Smurfs. So yeah, it's tough. Uh, to get an asterisk line, uh, I, I think that they would have to really talk, like you know, flip a coin on that one. That's tough. Um, you know, Tintin is another one, and you, you but you could le at least thank Peter Jackson for bringing that back to the foray. Uh, you know, getting back in that into the public consciousness because he did he did the Tintin um, you know live action movie, which it wasn't really it was like CG animated, right? So Tintin is an is an easier one to to market. Asterix is so tough, man. You know, a whole bunch of Vikings, uh, and in a French comic book, it's it's tough. It's a really tough sell. You know, a lot of people in Europe know exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't disagree with you though, Sledge. You know, that's 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 an interesting idea. Uh, Kevin, Cor was the it was in Castle Grayskull's unboxing. Uh, he looks a little like you. Uh, no, that's my that's my brother Dex. <laughs> now you're getting now you're getting confused. Um, uh, wait a second. Hold on. Core was in the Castle Grey Skull unboxing. Core was no Castle Grey Skull unboxing. Wait a second. Core was in there. What did he do? Because like, uh, he helped me. I don't think he was. Did he show up on camera? I don't think he did. 
I could be wrong. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at that again. Uh, he looks like me. No, I, <laughs> honestly, we we we're 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 the same body type. I think if that's what you're talking about, like, but uh, but in terms of like looking like me, no, I, I don't think so, <laughs> Kevin. I don't. Uh, he's Italian. I'm I'm Filipino. Yeah, we we have two different, two completely different uh, uh, looks. I'll tell you right now. I look like I look like a hermit. He looks like he's clean shaven. You know, ready ready to go. Uh, you know, whack somebody. So. It's great to have a best friend. Good luck on you guys. Yeah, thanks, dude. Uh, I've had lots of best friends. You know, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, over the years, I've had multiple friends who have become best friends, and and uh, unfortunately, you know, people drift apart. People, uh, you know, we lose contact. But once we get back together again, we're best friends all over again. So yeah, it's 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 great to have uh, to have friends. Fr fr friends friends are the spice of life. One hundred percent. Wrong one. Uh, Rodimus Prime. So Jay, you had a, some giant robot news. Let's see the news. That's a good. You know what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's move it on. Let's move it on. 100%. Uh, I'm quite surprised why Astro Boy hasn't had a bigger following. Man, I just love that thing to death. Unfortunately, it, it just did not stay in the public consciousness. That's that's really what it boils down to, Kevin. Um, they needed to make more cartoons than bring them over here in North America. And nobody would pick it up. Uh, Asterix is a little is a little like Snoopy Dog. Great, but uh, very limited following. No, you're wrong there, uh, Kevin. Snoopy's, Snoopy's huge. Snoopy is massive. Snoopy, Snoopy has a following like you would not believe it. I mean, it's, it's not... It doesn't seem like it does, but Snoopy is big. Snoopy is mass. Peanuts are big. Uh, can I be one of your best friends too, <laughs> Kevin? I think I consider everybody here a good friend. So abso absolutely, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, like, I, I would be honored to be your best friend, uh, Kevin. But like all things, it, it would be easier if we uh, could meet 100%. But yeah, 100%. I would, I would, I would, I would, uh, I would, I would love to have everybody here. As a good friend, so thank you guys. Uh, this does mean the world to me that you guys are here and enjoying the time that we have together. Uh, really, never knew penis was that big. Oh yeah, penis is huge. Uh, I'm not sure what how how it is in in Australia, but here in here in North America, peanuts is massive. Peanuts is a big big deal. Uh, similar to the way Winnie the Pooh is a big deal, uh, peanuts is a big deal. Yeah, um, that's it's 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 got a following like you would not believe. Uh, okay, so you know what? Uh, Rodimus is right. We should keep moving. Um, Will says we're all 100% toy friends. 100%. We are toy friends. So yeah, let's 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 go on to the next uh, bit of news with I, that I wanted to cover. Um, yeah, so man, uh, Kyodai Roboto, big ass, big ass, giant robots, my friends. So over at the uh, the Chinese Wonder Fest, I think it was called. I can't remember exactly, but they revealed uh, Blitzwag revealed their newest uh, figure, and boy, did it did did it ever! Uh, oh, it's not it's not Linda Hamilton though. She does look amazing, but no, it is in fact uh, the Ultron diecast transforming robot. Oh my god! Now here's the thing about this. Ah. When the Solo Trokugin, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, Go Lion was released, I had reserved it. And here's another pet peeve of mine. I had actually had a pre-order with it with another with a distributor in the United States who I've talked about before. And right now, this is th that, that was their strike one. Then they had to strike three and four, and I, I, was, I was done with them, right? So you know who you are, distributor. You know what you're talking you – know, you, know you, you know what you've done. And you've canceled my pre-orders from multiple different figures, so that's why I don't long, I don't use you anymore. And you will you will remain unnamed because I don't want to give you any publicity. But uh, not not that it would make a difference in my channel. But anyway, um, lost out my chance for the solo Chokugin uh, um, Voltron Go Lion. So now that um, Blitzway uh, has <laughs> announced this amazing looking Voltron, wow, his proportions look. Oh my god. Holy crap. He looks oh just crazy. Look at those proportions. Holy crap. But not only that, he looks so clean. Oh my gosh. Where are the legs? Where are the legs? Oh my gosh. Mrs. Troy has said it once. Where are my legs? Oh my gosh. Loxana Troy was looking for her legs. I'm looking for these lions' legs. Where are they? They're tucked away. Behind some paneling, beautiful design. Oh my god, just just hidden away. Oh, of course the uh, 
the blue lion and the uh, the yellow lion they they never they never hid their their legs but their top legs look they're gone top legs are hidden this is an incredible looking um uh figure oh my gosh and it is five lions that combine into one lion into one into one voltron holy crap oh my god i'm freaking out over this i need another voltron in my life oh my gosh i do not have a modern voltron yet but that will change that will change my friends very excited about this and they released a uh, a video um showcasing uh hi linda hamilton oh she, she looks uh, she looks amazing no sorry not linda linda carter sorry linda carter she looks incredible um yeah they released a a, a video which we're going to have a look at right now and yeah that that blew my that blew my mind as well um so yeah we're we'll take a look at this video here look at this look at this the way that the, the way the legs transform the just incredible the the way it just tucks away holy crap that was the tail actually so let's have a look at uh, another one of the videos look at this guys this is nuts this is just crazy the articulating legs the fact that the panels come in and fold oh just just insane if you guys want to see the full video uh go check out uh their instagram channel this is super exciting holy crap i am i am blown away all all these all these digital renders of this new uh artic art, fully articulated features holy crap this is incredible i am i am i am beyond uh excited for this for this uh for this voltron wow just just wow and i'm scared though i am i'm freaking out i really don't know with all that engineering, with all that articulation, with all the aesthetics that are built into this, the paint, the die cast, everything that's actually about this figure. Oh, my God. I don't know what to think. I'm 100% sure this thing is going to be in the three, four, five hundred $500 range. And that is freaking me out because so many good toys coming out right now, so many good options. Holy crap. We're going to talk about the last giant Kyodai Roboto um in a second but that one its price point is just whoo it's astronomical but this one man ah uh, i i, I want to own this one but oh man it's gonna be it's gonna be a scramble to get this uh i, I tried for the re-release of uh the solo truck again voltron on big bad toy star that was that was a flop i had no chance whatsoever so yeah don't know what i'm gonna do have no freaking clue i'm gonna have to wake up early that day Whenever they make the the announcement, uh, I'm gonna have to figure something out. But yeah, this is uh, this is a this is a tough one for me, man. I, I love Voltron. Voltron is one of my Voltron. Voltron is 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 big for me. Voltron is freaking huge. Voltron is my like you know it's it's, it's definitely one of those ones. I missed out on solo solo choking. I was I was ready to put down, and I, I didn't have that much money back then. But I was willing to plop down that four hundred dollars, like like uh, you know uh, one hundred like three sorry three that. Uh, that 350. I was willing like that. I was willing to put it down. And I just totally just completely like, you know, was was too like I think it was like 10 minutes and and all the whole stock was gone. It was it was ridiculous. So yeah, that was that's freaking crazy. I'm I'm very excited about this Voltron. Holy crap. It looks it looks incredible. Just oh my god. Just insane. Just in freaking insane. Uh, sorry, we're gonna have to go back here. All right, so how much strategy, uh, Mr. J Retro? <laughs> how much do you think the new Solo Chokugen will cost in Canadian? Man, that thing is spectacular. So it's not a Solo Chokugen. Uh, what, what, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, we haven't gotten there yet, uh, Hamlet. We're gonna have to talk. We're gonna talk about that soon. Uh, but by the time by the time the one you're talking about lands, it's gonna be a thousand dollars. I'm telling you right now. Um, I talk about landed in Canada. Uh, Kevin, here's a quiz. If Optimus Prime boldly fought in real life, who would win? Uh, are you talking about movie, uh, as in live action movie with uh, with the Bavers? Are you talking about G1? Are you talking about God, Kevin? That's a loaded question. There are way too many universes for all the different Optimus Primes, all the different Bumblebees. Like seriously, you're gonna have to seriously narrow that narrow that window down because that 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 question is too loaded. There are way too many. Way too many uh, robots in disguise. We can Bayverse, uh, G1, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, War for Cybertron, uh, you know, um, 
oh my God, just crazy. Just way too many, way too many universes to even consider that. Uh, Aldry, wow, yes, wow. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, wife loves peanuts and Snoopy. The property, it's the property she loves to collect. Yeah, it's it's a crazy property. It's so so massive. I don't know about the new Voltron. Looks good, but a little too slim and not and is not detailed enough. I don't know. I don't know, uh, Kevin. It's pretty damn detailed. What what happens is it's very uh, like it becomes a cartoon accurate kind of idea when it folds the panels away, and I think that was what they were going for. It, you don't, and technically, I, be, I I believe you don't have to hide. You don't have to use the panels. I could be wrong about that, but yeah, if if you ended up wanting to wanting to see the legs, technically, I think you could. Um, Sledge, speaking of Peo, I'm excited for the new Smurfs Nickelodeon show because I get to share it with my son. Oh, that's awesome, Sledge. You're raising your kids right, my friend. Uh, Noel, Jay, did you ever did you know Buzz Act Hardack has a huge red eyes variant? I got a regular eye and red eye version. Nice, congratulations, Noel. Glad to, glad to hear it. Kevin, Mr. Fantastic, really? I thought Peanuts is more for older generations, plus 50. No, Kevin. Uh, see, that, that's, that's where you're wrong. Like, people love Peanuts. A lot of people love Peanuts. Uh, Hamlet, I'm so excited about the new Guy King solo chuck again. Do you know when it's being released? <laughs> We're getting to it. We're getting to it, Hamlet. We're getting to it. Uh, how much is that Voltron? That's the problem. They haven't released the pricing, and I'm scared to death. Because uh, as, 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 um, as Hamlet keeps talking about, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, Daimaru, uh, um, uh, you know, Daimaru uh, uh, Guy King is um, is going is going to be fucking uh, like uh, like a thousand dollars by the time it gets here. Uh, Raymond, that uh, Raymond Chong. Hey, Raymond, good to see you. That Voltron looks like it doesn't transform. It does, my friend. It does, and we just we just saw some of the three D renders. Can you believe it? Uh, Kevin. Do you like the vehicle Voltron or lines more? I'm 50-50. I would say vehicle form is more cool, but the line form is more iconic. Your thoughts? I did a whole video on that, uh, Kevin. Uh, you should really take a look at my catalog. Uh, I've always been more partial to the lines just because of the, the way uh, I, I watched it. The vehicle Voltron does look incredible. I'm not going to lie. You know, um, Diaruger 15 has its own place in, in Voltron lore, but uh, I would I always gravitate towards, uh, towards the lion Voltron, 100%. That line Voltron looks cool. Yeah, Aldry, it looks amazing. Uh, that's going to be six hundred. Uh, it's good. This is going to be six hundred USD announced. Uh, okay, what, Kevin, where did you where did you find that? Because they were they haven't announced any pricing at all. Um, uh, or are you talking about are you talking about uh, uh, Solo Truck again? Uh, um, uh, GX one hundred. Uh, let let us know where you found that pricing, Kevin. I'm very interested. Uh, Will, I love Voltron. Did you get the Playmates one from GameStop? No, uh, I'm waiting for a diecast version. Uh, uh, Will, I'm, I'm waiting for a, a, an updated diecast version. Uh, I really want a really good one. Uh, Rodimus, Rodimus Prime, six hundred. Um, uh, uh, you're out. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna. I'm not sure if it's six hundred. Uh, it might be. It's very possible. G1 Universe. All right, G1 Universe. G1 Universe. Uh, what's what was it called again? It was called uh, uh, Blitz. Blitzwave. Uh, uh, what is the address? Because it's not showing. G1 Universe. Is that a, a thing? Is that a website, uh, Kevin? Because uh, I can't find anything. Rodimus Prime, 1982, 600 plus, plus postage. Kevin, uh, is that a YouTube channel? Is that a, a website? Please uh, let us know. Mr. Bactastic, that Voltron is beautiful. It is indeed. Uh, start saving, brother. Yeah, Kevin, sh let me know where that where that website is. The subject for the 70s. Hello, I will definitely pre-order it as it's almost 14 inches tall. Holy crap! Holy crap! Fourteen inches tall? Oh my god, that actually might be worth six hundred dollars. Holy crap! Super Seven Ultimate Smurfs would be exciting. Yeah, that would be very interesting. Uh, Drum Voltron is beautiful. I need them. Yes, indeed. Holy crap! A thousand yikes! If I could afford prices like that, I'd have bought uh, all three future Getter robots one hundred percent. Nostalgia for the seventies. I I like that. Finally, a company at least tried to cover the lion's legs when in Voltron combined mode. Yeah, I think it's really. I think it looks really really cool. Uh, but yeah, Kevin, 
you're getting everybody excited. Where where is this uh, where is this article? Because uh, I'm 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 now actively searching for this. G1 Universe Blitzway Voltron. Um, I'm not finding any articles on that. Like where where exactly is that is that where is it? John, uh, how's it going, John? Voltron sucks. Where's my Prince Planet video? Ah, <laughs> oh, John. It's 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 coming, man. One 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 of these days I'm trying I'm gonna find I'm gonna find time to get it done. We need some space battleship Yamato love. Uh, you know, the, the, it does exist. You know, the solo choke. I have the solo choke. Uh, sorry, I have the solo Popanika uh, version upstairs. So I'm gonna have to do a review on that for sure. Uh, Jay, I'm not sure if you remember Voltron that came out. Uh, you can put the figures in, in lines. It was pretty big version of Voltron. Uh, are you talking about the? Uh, I think that was Playmates too, wasn't it? It was like gigantic. It was like uh, it was like two feet tall, wasn't it? It was like crazy. Actually, it was more like five, more like three feet tall. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I wouldn't buy that though. It leans over. Like it can't even stand on its own power, and it's all plastic. What? Right? Wasn't wasn't that the case? It was it was like completely plastic. Uh, nostalgic for the seventies. I own the Future Quest Manzinger Z, Manzinger said sixteen inches tall. Manjiga 19, ni the, Manjiga, the Great Manjiga is 19 inches tall, and Grand Desert is 20 inches tall. Holy crap! Holy crap! That's that's a lot of figures. That's a th those, that's a lot of plastic. That's a lot of plastic or a lot of die cast there. Nostalgia for the 70s. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, so Kev, I think Kevin's still looking for that article because I'm telling you, I can't I can't find it. I have no idea where that article is, Kevin. Anyway, we are going to move on because this, no matter bar none. Uh, six, 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 seven hundred dollars. Whatever it is, it's going to be damn expensive. That much is that, that that much is is true. But he looks incredible. And if he is truly fourteen inches tall, my God, what an amazing figure that would be. But uh, hold on, here we go. Maybe this is it. I have an article on Prince uh, on price announced. Search Bandai uh, Metro. I thought you I, th I thought you said it was uh, G One Universe, but okay. Uh, Bandai Cho. Okay. Let's have a look. So you're saying Bandai Cho uh, 57466. Five, 57466. Uh, Metro Hobbies. Okay, but uh, hold on. If you're, that's not an article. Is it an article or is it? Yeah, hold on. I'm not finding anything. Uh... Okay, I'm not finding anything, Kevin. And I Cho five seven. 466L. Okay, maybe that's the problem. And I Cho 57466L. Solo choke again. Fine. Wait a second. It's not a solo choke. Kevin, you're not making any sense. It's not solo choke again. That's not. That's not. You're. 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 You're not even. You're not even. Uh, Kevin, that's not right. This isn't a solo choke again. The GX71 is the old version that we were talking about for. We already know. We already know that, that's. Uh, it's if it's six hundred dollars U.S. Uh, if it's six hundred dollars Australian. If it's six hundred Australian dollars, I get that. That makes sense. That's three hundred dollars American. Uh, uh, three hundred fifty dollars American. But they sold out. They sold out uh, years ago. Um, that that's not. Um, no, that's 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 a reissue, uh, Kevin. Uh, six forty nine USD. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait a second, Kevin. Hold on. Okay, is this what you're talking about, Kevin? Okay, so six forty nine ninety nine. 
Solo Choco again, GX71. That's old. Uh, if that's a pre order, that's an outrageous price if that's US dollars. That doesn't make any sense. Um, even even Big Bad Toy Store for for GX71, that doesn't make any sense at all. That's a crazy. That's a that's that's that is an out, outrageous price, uh, and that's not even the one we're talking about, though, Kevin. Um, yeah. See, this is this is the price on. Uh, on Big Bad Toy Store for for this version, the Solo Truck again G GX seventy one, three fifty. That's what that's that's what is supposed to be the price. Whoever this is, if this is if those if these are Australian dollars, I can understand. That actually seems to make sense. But if this is a, if this is U.S. dollars, they are ripping people off. No one's going to buy this thing. That's 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 ridiculous. Where are these guys? Yeah, they're in the Commonwealth. So I'm. Are these guys are these guys um, Australian? Where are they from? You can't even contact them. Hold on. Where where are they where are these guys from? Uh, about a support center. Here we go. Where are you guys from? Yeah, they're an Australian hobby store. So those are that's Australian dollars, uh, uh, Kevin. So that's six hundred and forty nine Australian dollars. So yeah, that's not that's not right. It's it's not. That's uh that's that's not that's not the that's not the same Voltron we're talking about. Um. So and that's not even it's not even USD. It's actually Australian. How how much is how much is that? Hold on, let's just check. So, um, xe.com. So if we do three fifty. 350 uh, US to Australian. What does it end up being? Holy crap. Yeah, whoever these guys are, if this is Australian dollars, they are ripping people off. That is ridiculous. 649 US uh, um, Australian dollars? That is a complete ripoff. Uh, if that includes shipping, maybe maybe it makes sense, but that's that's insane. Because U.S. U.S. equivalent is only through three forty nine for uh, for a solo chokogin uh, solo chokogin uh, GX seventy one, right? If this is a pre order, that is ridiculously expensive. That doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, and Kevin, that that's not what we're talking about. This is the Blitzway universe. Um, this is the Blitzway. This is not a this is not a SOC. This is Blitz. This is Blitzway, which is a completely different company. It's not Bandai. So that's a, this. This is a different company entirely. But we are scared. We are very, very scared that this actually might be, uh, you know, uh, five to six hundred dollars. That actually, the U.S. That actually might be uh, the case. Honestly, it is. It is getting very, very scary right now to see uh, whether or not this. Um, because this this is actually a Chinese uh, company who's 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 developed this, right? And it's not Solo Chokugen. It's it's not Bandai, and that's that's why it's kind of it's it's kind of scary. Like, how much is this thing going to cost? This is actually these aren't these are these aren't this is a production model that was actually on Wonderfest in China, and you can actually see it looks amazing in person. Holy crap! Look at that thing. I hope it comes with this base. This base looks amazing. Oh my gosh! The stand that it, that it's sitting on. I hope it comes with that, and it looks like it's got a fully painted sword. I hope it comes with all of the accessories. Hey, look, there's Waldo. So yeah, this is this is very exciting. Yeah, it's um, so uh, Kevin. Whatever that listing is from you uh, from, from, that you that you found, it's not uh, it's it's not the uh, it's not this particular uh, figure. Uh, this fi this figure is from um, uh, Blitzway. Uh, it's not it's not Bandai, and it's not Solo Choke again. Uh, whoa! What the heck? Um, John Joker. Oh my gosh, John! Good to see you, brother. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you so much for the super chat. Wow! Holy crap, John! You're 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 too much, my friend. Hey, brother. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you, my friend. John, we have to do a live stream together, brother. I love your uh, your trivia's. Invite me sometime. I would love to be on one of your trivia nights. Uh, I thought the last one was actually very very clever. Uh, a couple of guys in there. Um, I wasn't really familiar with who you had as guests, but that was that was really fun. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. You're amazing, John. Thank you so much. Wow. 
Uh, guys, if you haven't already, please check out John Joker's channel. He's got an amazing uh, 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 toy channel, and uh, he does a lot of great uh, uh, live streams. You guys should definitely check out John's channel. He's a really he's a really good YouTuber. Thank you, John. Really appreciate it. Uh, oh my gosh, so generous. Thank you so much, John. I really appreciate the support. Um, so just gonna go back a little bit here, um, Kevin. Yeah, so Aldrich says uh, I think Kevin was referring to the fight between Optimus, Optimus and Bumblebee flight uh, fight. He was uh, he was entering what G what universe is G one? Okay, that's interesting. Um, Voltron, that's the Voltron I was talking about. Plastic and somewhat clunky. Yeah, no, not not interested at all. I'm sorry, Aldrich. That that that, that thing. I, I you have to mail away from them every month. Yeah, kind of crazy. Uh, Kevin just popped up six forty nine USD pre order. No. Would never do it if it's actually U.S. dollars. That's a complete ripoff. If it was, if it's Australian dollars, that's still a ripoff. That's two. That's that's two hundred dollars more than it should be. Uh, U.S. Uh, Australian dollars. That's crazy. Uh, Zalu Toy Hunter. Hey Zalu, good to see you, brother. Hi guys, I got some news. I got a project with some guys on raising money uh, on Saint Jude. Uh, okay, Zalu, please. Uh, um, if you're able to. Uh, Send me the link. Uh, if if it checks out, I'll I'll have I'll post it on the um, on the chat. Um, nostalgia for the seventies. Five Pro Studios X Blitzway Voltron. Correct. That's the one. That's the one that we're actually talking about. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay. Because it's not it's not on it's okay. Kevin, you're gonna have to find the link because the one the one we just saw is not correct. That is not that is not the that is not the one. Sledge, Jay, this is the new Voltron 5 Pro Studio. Yes, I yes, I, I, I know which one it is, but how much does it cost? A friend of mine sent me the link. It says that it's saying it's a new release. I didn't think it was I did think it was very expensive. Uh somebody should post the link if they can. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Joey Z, oh my gosh, Joey. Thank you so much for the super chat. Holy crap. Uh, just wanted to let you know, me here, you're 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 awesome, Joey. Thank you so much. You you are awesome, buddy. Thank you again for the super chat. You and John Joker, jeez, Louise, you guys are so generous. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate the support, uh, Joey. Dude, thank you so much. Uh, we 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 gotta we if one one of these days we gotta get together. Uh, John, you the same. One of these days when everything starts to uh, starts to get better, we should definitely. Either meet virtually or, or you know do something, man. Like we should. I, I would love to be on one of your one of your live streams, John. Uh, Joey, if you got a channel, please let me know. We, maybe, maybe we can uh, maybe we can do something together. Thank you, jo thank you, Joey. Really appreciate that. You guys are amazing. Um. Okay, so I want to get to our last topic just before the night ends. Um. Uh, Zalu. Um. It's twenty five dollars to enter to get a box. Okay, Zalu, definitely send me the send me the link. Maybe I'll post it up. Uh, have the strategy. It hurts to be me. While I like Voltron, I have other fonder memories of Force Five. Oh, it's beautiful Force Five, and it can't be the only one if they're still generating adult toys for the characters. Hamlet, I'm right there with you. You know that. It's amazing. I love Force Five. Force Five is the best. Guy King, Dangard Ace, Getter Getter Dragon, and Grendizer. It's not just Getter Dragon nostalgia. Getter Dragon, Getter Poseidon, and Getter Arrow. They're all there, my friend. Dangard Ace, Grandizar. And of course, we can't forget the Space Coteers. Come on. Porthco, uh, Porthos, uh, Jesse Dart, and Aramoth. Come on. Don't forget those guys. Have a strategy. Nostalgia, nostalgic, bless your heart. 100%. Is this the uh, Voltron diecast or plastic? Diecast and plastic, my friend. It is one crazy, crazy, four, apparently 14 inches tall uh, uh, Voltron. It looks. It looks amazing. Uh, Will, send you some pictures from Blitzway Voltron, Wonderfest, Shanghai. See what's up, what's up, Jay. I, I, I just post, I just posted a few of them up. Will, thank you so much. Uh, nostalgia for the seventies. I own the Yamato Dangar Ace. Weighs two pounds. Full of full of diecast metal. That's amazing. Holy crap! I wish I owned that. Uh, the, and there's postage too. Yeah, that's that's nuts. If it actually is the one we're talking about, John Joker. Thank you again for the super chat. You're amazing, brother. Uh, the Future Quest Grandizer stands 20 inches tall. How's that even possible? Holy crap. It comes with a base that you can have all five lions at the same time. Holy crap, man. That is insane. Loving it. Loving the fact that it has a stand. Holy crap. Look at that. Love that stand. Look at those turtles. Look at that. I'm a strategy. Good day, mate. 
Uh, Want to buy Voltron for six four? <laughs> or the silver price of your soul? Yes, wonderful price. It's amazing. Joey, thank you again for the super chat, my friend. You're amazing. Glenn Cruz, hey Glenn, good to see you, brother. Good evening, everybody. Hey Jay, just doing a fried rice steak strip. So you guys are awesome. Alexandra is an awesome cook. She is indeed. Saved you a plate for you, brother. I will have it spiritually, my friend. You guys are awesome. Ryan S., new Voltron is awesome. I think so. I want to find out how much it costs because right now we're still trying to figure that out. It's incredible. All right, so the last topic for tonight before we run out of time here. Guys, this blew my socks off. And I thought Voltron was one thing, but this, this was just insane. Oh, my gosh. For all you Soul of Chokugan fans out there, let's talk about GX Hyaku. GX100, Soul of Chokugin, Daimaru, Daiking Daimaru, Soul of Chokugin 100. Oh my God. Oh my God. What an incredible, oh, just a huge reveal. Holy crap. Let's take a look at some of these. Well, you know what? Let's, let's, let's just take a look at the video. It's easier that way. Holy crap, guys. Look at this thing. Oh my God. This thing is literally 300 millimeters long, which is almost one, uh, two, two point, uh, I think two, two point three, in, two point thirty inches in in length. It's ridiculous. This was the actual um, announcement video. It was it was amazing to see all of these uh, all of these great figures uh, displayed the way they were. Um, I just want to make sure that uh, I'm just yep, yeah, perfect. Yeah, this 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 was this was incredible. We can see the uh, the guy the guy king here standing in front of Daimaru. The uh, all the all the launch the launch bay here with its with his legs, his arms, and of course his torso. He stands and pretty much is in in, in the same scale as uh, Getter Robo G and uh, Grandizer. So he 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 fits in with all the devil robots. Amazing, and. The real PS de Resistance, though, is this gigantic Daimaru. Oh my God, 300 millimeters long, almost two feet and uh, 2.3 feet long. Look at the size of this compared to his hand. This is blowing my freaking mind, everybody. This was insane. They did the whole reveal, and you know, risking a little bit of uh, YouTube um, uh, YouTube uh, wrath here. Let's go ahead and take a look at them opening up the Daimaru. This is insane. Holy, holy crap. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. Here, he, look at his hands. His hands are, gig are, are, are are dwarfed by this thing. Oh, my God. Look, the elevator comes down. Oh, my gosh. This is a dream come true for any of us who loved uh, Daimaru, uh, the great space dragon, uh, Guy King. Holy crap. Look at this thing. It is gigantic. What size is the box going to be? Look at look at the claws. Oh my god. How much does this thing weigh? Like holy crap. Just insane. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Comes with so many different features. It it apparently has voice activation. No, voice act it actually has voice clips from the show. You know, oh my gosh! Like, what is going on here, guys? This is incredible. Um, Guy King here, he transforms. He uh, we saw all of his pieces. He splits into three. Oh, just incredible! Look, he actually becomes to, into his um, into his defense mode. Holy shit! Oh my god! Just crazy! All of these wonderful accessories, all of the uh, the 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 dino the dino support vehicles. Holy crap. Just insane. Like, seriously, what were they thinking when they made this? The, the, the launch video was just pure, pure toy porn. Like, crazy stuff. Just incredible. Can't wait for this thing. But it's going to kill my wallet, like, like my bank account alone. Holy crap. And look at the price tag on this thing. 82,500 82, yen. Take off two zeros, basically, 
eight hundred and twenty five dollars US. That's before any shipping. That's before any import fees. That's before anything. Basically, you're looking at eight hundred dollars US. I, I, I don't know the plus or minus, but at least eight hundred dollars US before it actually even lands in your country. Holy crap! That that is truly a, a monumental. Oh my god! Just just crazy giant robot. Like that is truly gigantic. I mean, yeah, I think definitely Unicron here. The other way, up. Uh, Unicron here takes the cake in terms of giant robots, one hundred percent. But still, oh my god, what the heck are we gonna do with with Daimoru here? Holy crap! What kind of box is this gonna be in? It's gonna be freaking ginormous. I just cannot believe. That, like, what what can we say? Holy crap! Holy shit! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Holy shit! Oh my god, YouTube. Do whatever you need to do, but my God, just freaking crazy. Ryan, yes, Voltron is awesome. Nostalgic, yeah. Um, let's wait, X-Pro, uh, Voltron, Beast King, uh, Go Lion material, ABS diecast, height of 35 centimeters, 13 inches, 13.17 uh, inches. My God, just crazy. Aldi 473, I heard this thing is huge. Brother, it is gigantic. Three, almost two, almost two and a half feet. Uh, Kevin. Would be more strong. Uh, uh, who'd be more stronger, Guy King versus Voltron in combined mode? Uh, that's a tough question, but I, I honestly would say I think Voltron would still win. Uh, Sledge, Jay, you need to pick up GX100 and do a review. Yeah, thanks, Sledge. I really appreciate that. Oh my god, oh my god, Ham Hamlet strategy. See, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, geez, thanks so much, Hamlet. You're amazing. I just want to say thanks for your hard work. It's appreciated. Thank you, thank you, Hamlet. You're you're incredible. Thank you so much for that, guys. You your your support. It, you, guys, just you guys being here is all that matters to me. The fact that we get to spend time together on a Sunday night at 8 o'clock until 10 o'clock, you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, for Oh, and I wanted – sorry, before we do anything else, I wanted to congratulate all the winners of the, the, the Mega J Retro giveaway. Everybody, you guys were amazing. Um, uh, an hour and 45 minutes to, to get through that wheel of elimination. It was just crazy. Hamlet, once again, thank you so much, brother. You are incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joey. Uh, sorry, not Joey. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Joey, uh, Joey Zed. Uh, thank you, John Joker. You guys are incredible. Guys, thank you so much for the support. You don't have to, but it really is very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Henry. Oh, shit. I need this. Yeah. We, we all need it. How much is it going to be? Sorry. We, we, uh, sorry. It's, it's freaking $825. Before it even gets off, off, uh, like uh, off, off the boat, how much is it going to be uh, when, when, when Big Bad Toy Star finally gets a hold of it? Uh, yes, I, I, I just explained that. Uh, 882,500 yen. If you subtract, if you take off two zeros, uh, it's it's a quick way of doing it. Eight eight hundred twenty five dollars US, but that's plus minus. It's it's going to be somewhere in a, in and around that. Uh, Henry G Force Five. Yes, indeed, it is. It is Force Five. Beautiful. Nightwolf76. Uh, hey, Jay, how are you, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, Nightwolf. Good to see you, my friend. Audrey, uh, you might have to mail that in several boxes. I think that's actually probably what needs to happen. I'm sorry. That thing is gigantic. It's going to be like the Unicron box was massive. It was it was immense. Same thing with Snake Mountain. Those two boxes, those two playsets, insane. This one, because it's made of die cast, oh, just nuts. This thing is going to weigh twice as much of what these guys weighed. Okay, what 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 these two play sets here? I'm pointing towards Snake Mountain, just so you guys know. These two play sets over here, they were here. You guys can see, like that play set. Okay, that thing was ginormous. That that monstrosity up there. Oh my god, that thing that thing was just holy crap. Getting those two here was insane. This, oh my god, this thing's gonna weigh a ton. I don't I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen with this one. This one, I have no no freaking clue. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's try that. There we go. This one, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do with this one. This one, this one is just ridiculous. Uh, Glenn, that Voltron looks ultra. I still have my OG Go Lion. You're, you're awesome, dude. Totally on that, on that Guy King, my favorite giant robot. Absolutely. Uh, no soldier for the seventies. Pre-order on Amazon Japan, including shipping to Canada. Oh, 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 my heart. Oh, my heart. It's on pre-order right now. Oh, uh, nostalgia! Why did you tell me that? Uh, why did you tell me that? No, no, you shouldn't have told me. It's on. Pre is it really? Is it seriously on pre-order right now? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I need a minute. Hold on. I need a. 
Oh, oh my god, it's off for you. Oh, we're a troll. We're a troll. Clear we're a troll. Oh my god, that's not good. It's already available for you. This is not a good idea. It would not even do us any good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm okay now. I think I'm okay now. I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. Okay. Uh, $891. You went, yeah, sure. $1,095. Okay. Okay. Sure. $1,100. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I need a mortgage. Oh, $1,100 for this freaking GX100. Oh dear God. Oh, my God. Okay, Nostalgia, thank you for letting me know. Holy crap. Yes, Nina Celestia. Hey, how's it going? Time to start a GoFundMe for Jay's birthday or Christmas present. <laughs> oh, Nina Celestia, you're, you're precious. I love you. Uh, thank you, Nina Celestia. You're awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, $1,100. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hamlet, I was hoping you'd discuss Guy King. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. And now we know how much it costs. Dear God. Oh my god. Old IT guy, do they have layaway? Oh my god. Do they accept do they accept firstborns? Like oh my god, that's crazy. That is rocking crazy. Ryan, you're in you're so insane that you bought two worlds. Uh <laughs> oh my god, I know. Just one what one 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 world up there and then another freaking like you know, uh you know that that in and of itself is crazy, but Guys, this freaking oh my god, this this will literally break the bank. Oh my god. Oh, this is crazy. This is not good. This is not good. That is not you know what? I have to no, we have to hide that now. That is not a good idea. That is not a good idea. Totally porn, toy porn, yes, 100 percent toy porn. Absolutely. Oh my god, this is so Oh god. Oh god. I am so envious of you, Nostalgic. Holy crap. Congratulations, my friend. Oh, my God. Oh, that is so awesome. Dude, you are you are in, you are are amazing. You are amazing. Ah, shoot. I know. 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 No, <laughs> Sledge, you're, you're terrible. Sledge, you're aw you're awful, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh my god. Nine hundred dollars. Major ouch on the wallet. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Oh, I had to sell stuff to buy it. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Nostalgia for the seventies. Absolutely. Oh my god. I'm just looking around right now. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. Now I got to look it up. Oh, damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazon amazon.co.jp Oh, Jesus. Uh, guy king. Hold on. Wait a second here. Guy king. No. Oh. Guy king. All right, let's do GX100. Oh, my. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh,
I'm sorry. I needed a moment there. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That. Oh, jeez. You know what? Nostal nostalgic. You seem like the smartest person in the world right now. Holy crap. You seem you seem like you seem like the smartest person in the world right now. Where 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 was it? Hold on. Where was it? Was it around here somewhere? Well, there it is. Yeah, you seem you seem like you seem like the smartest person in the world right now. <laughs> you saved you saved the you saved a thousand yen. Holy crap! Oh my god! November twenty twenty one. Wow, it's gonna arrive this year. No, no, no. Sorry, it's not. It's 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 the cancellation. Yeah, you can't cancel it after November twenty twenty one. Holy cow! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's crazy. That is nuts. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I had a moment there. I'm sorry. I I I I had I had a moment there. <laughs> Sledge, you're you're crazy. You're 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 nuts. Uh, I'll chase double wow seven hundred major ouch on the wall at one hundred percent. Yeah, nostalgic had to sell some some toys to some some stuff. Uh, Joey, use the use the Walmart credit card. Uh, Joey, I liked you so so much before. I still love you, Joey, but damn. Uh, Mediax, you can sell Snake Mountain for it. You're hilarious. Go 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 soak your head. Uh, nostalgic, put this. Uh, just put in GX100. I know. I, I I found it. I'm sorry I found it. Uh, Jay, let it go. You know that you want... I, I know you want Gaixing stuff, but sometimes we have to pass up on things we really want in favor of survival in the world. Yeah, no kidding. Audrey, damn. All IT guys, sell the auto-transforming prime to, uh, to me. <laughs> I don't have it. Actually, it's Kevin who has it. Uh, looks like the price has gone up. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's why I have two jobs. Yeah, no kidding. At least the batteries are included. Oh, thank you. Thank God for that. Thank God that the batteries are included. Of course, if you're paying freaking $900 for this thing, I would expect no less that the batteries are included. My God. Kind of saw the Thundercat sword for that. Nice, big, uh, giant toy you want. Yeah, uh, but, but see, Barry... Um, the, the, uh, so, okay. I know you're not trying to be mean, Barry, but 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 here's here's okay. So I'm crazy. I really I, I okay. So guys, so don't be me. Okay, I am nuts. Yes, I spent two. Th I, I spent I spent twenty five hundred dollars on a, a replica sword. Okay, I, I you know that's that's one thing, but it had to be forged. It it was it was it's an artisan representation, and that was something that I absolutely had to have before my life ended. So yes, I I I, I got a replica. Sword for twenty five hundred dollars US. Okay, so Canadian that's even more. But something like this, where am I going to put this? Like, wh wh sorry, um, sorry. Where where would what where would a person put this thing? Like seriously, like I like Unicron over here takes up most like most most of the shelf room of, in this entire place, right? The, the, those rings, oh my god, that that I had to position him in such a way that he could actually fit up there. It was crazy. Right, where like Daimodu, where is he gonna is he gonna be a, a like like a coffee table uh, display? Like, where is he gonna go? He's gigantic, just crazy. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a struggle between responsible adult and enthusiastic fanboy. <laughs> there, there, Jay. Be strong. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Noah. I need some. I, I need a virtual hug. Oh my God, Neil Celestia, save me. Nostalgia for the seventies. Do a pre. Do, so do a pre-order. Sell some stuff, and you can always cancel before November twenty-first. What are you doing, nostalgia? You are literally enabling me. I f now you just reminded me that there's no money down on, on. Oh my God, you just reminded me there's no money down on on Amazon orders. Corey's gonna murder me. Cor Corey's gonna murder me. No, no, I won't do it. I, I just, I just won't. <laughs> I already got five power. I've already got six Power Rangers on reserve. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, like a hundred dollars each. I, I, oh god, oh god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You guys are crazy. That's that's freaking nuts. No, no, I can't. I can't. I, I, I gotta. I have to step away. Uh, you know what? I gotta. I gotta. Give me a give me a minute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What have I just saw? I saw something I should never have seen. I should never have ever saw. I should never have seen that. That was not something for my eyes. That was a bad idea. That is a genuine bad idea. That is bad. God and, and and now somebody told somebody uh, oh geez Louise oh oh my god nostalgia for the 70s why did you tell me why did you remind me that there's no money down on that oh my god that's oh Jesus Christ Glenn I totally hear you Jay so ultra and you want it, it it'd be a piss off <laughs> beautiful collector's toy but automatic debt dude that is that is a mortgage that is a mortgage right there. Jay, seriously, don't. Yeah, I know. It's, exactly. Oh, my God. How many strategies laughing at me? I think everybody's laughing at me right now. Sledge, don't pick it up. GX100, that money will cover four waves of Thundercats Ultimates. Yeah, absolutely. Or two Thundercats. Or two Thunder Tanks. That sword is beautiful, my friend. Yes, IT guy. Thank you. It is beautiful. Barry, look what you really want right now. Do you really want that toy? Is it something you really want in your life? Barry, that question, for me, that question is a funny question, man. John, I'll pay you 10K for the Thundercat sword right now. You're funny, John. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the offer. But, uh, um... <laughs> oh, John, you're, you're, you're precious. Thank you. Thank you, John. I, uh, that makes me feel better, John. Thank you so much. How Roni Gaming. Don't do it. There's always a chance we'll get more consumer friendly version. You gotta keep that mindset. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, don't do it, Jay. It's not worth it. You saw nothing, Jay. You saw nothing. Yes, I know. That's what I keep telling myself. It's far too steep a price when you weigh it against other things you could be spending in your hard earned dollars. <laughs> Resist. Oh god. I most likely will cancel as I'm not going to get Voltron and Guy King at the same time. Oh, Oh my god. Oh god. Guys, I've just gone through a whole wave of emotions right now. Just 100%, 100% wave of emotions. Oh my god. You guys are amazing. This has been one fun night, I got to tell you. I've got to do some soul searching. Uh Core and Joey and uh John Joker, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, Hamlet Strategy, thank you so much again. All, all you guys, thank you so much for the super chats. You guys are incredible. Holy cow. Honestly, how about those Montreal Canadiens, right? Like, seriously, those guys, those guys are really kicking butt right now. Yeah, they're doing really great. Oh, my gosh. How about those Jays? How about them? They're doing amazing too, right? Oh, my gosh. 
that Thundercat sword is your kid. It's your precious thing in life you have right now. It it is one of one of my very uh, valued treasures. Thank you, Barry. I'm not laughing. I know the struggle. <laughs> Rodimus knows what I'm talking about. Good night, Jay. Keep proud. Yeah, you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna have to go do some soul searching tonight. That is freaking crazy. Um, especially now that I oh Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, nostalgic. You put you put a uh, you put a thought. You put a seed in my head. That's not a good idea. Seriously, that is not. I'm gonna stroke this beard for a little longer. That is just crazy. Um, Jay, you can't have everything, so decide what you really want. Oh my God, nostalgia! You're killing me. Sledge, Jay, don't do. <laughs> Jay, don't. You still have to pick up Ultimate Star Cats, TMNT Silver. Oh my God, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, uh, uh, Sledge. You're absolutely right. Oh my God. 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 When is the next lottery again? <laughs> I need to win the lottery, guys. I need to win the lottery. <laughs> oh, Neil Celestia, no, you didn't have to do that. Oh, oh you're going to bribe me not to do it, eh? Oh, thank you, Neil Celestia. Yeah, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for bribe. Thank you for the bribe. You didn't have to. I, I, I'm, I'm talking myself out of it as we speak. Your sweetheart, Neo Celestia. Thank you so much. You shouldn't have. Don't please don't do that again. You are amazing, Neo Celestia. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. I'm gonna talk myself out of it. Don't worry. I'll be okay. I will be okay, everybody. I will be okay. Thank you for the virtual hug. Thank you so much. You're amazing, Glenn. Good night, everybody. Good night, Jay. Much love and respect from Alexandra and I, bro. Kiakala. Glenn, Alexandra, thank you so much. Oh, this has been one wave of emotions for me this whole night. Oh, my gosh. I thought we were just going to talk about these things. I didn't know it was actually up for pre-order. Damn you, ne no no Nostalgic for the 70s. You are amazing, and you are an enabler. I love you, but damn you. <laughs> you should not be putting this thing in front of an addict. In front of an addict. Look, at, look at this place. Look, look. Look at this place. Seriously, look at do I do I look like I need more fig like seriously? Look at this place. Do I look do I look like I need more stuff? Seriously. Seriously. What is going on? Do I look like I need more crap? <laughs> like, Core's going to kick me out one day. He's going to literally throw me out on the street. He's going to kick me out. Oh, Glenn, thank you and Alexandria, have a good night. Thank you so much. Keep calm, my brother. Rodimus, take care, Jay. Thank you, Rodimus. You take care too. Neil Celestia, good night, people. Stay safe and awesome. Neil Celestia, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for the for the super chat. Joey Z Joey Z, thank you for the for the super chat. John Joker, thank you much so much for the super chat. And uh, <clears throat> Hamlet Strategy, thank you so much for the super chat. You guys are incredible. Aldri, thank you, Jay. Take care and have a great night. I'm sorry I, I broke down there, guys. I'm sorry about that last that last desperate plea for a for a for an addict. Please uh, do forgive me. That was just ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Sledge, uh, to distract your focus, uh, uh, do a do a Captain Future video. Yeah, we should do that, Sledge. 100%. I should take a break. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, good night, Che. Thank you, Mr. Fantastic. Nostalgia. I can only afford it because I sell my old stuff. That's 100% true. Oh, my gosh. Nostalgia for the 70s. Thank you again. Uh, I'm, I'm only joking, of course. I do, I do appreciate you, my friend. Sledge, good night. Guys. What a night! What a what what a range of emotions I've just been through. Oh my god! I thought we were just going to talk about these things. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> I'm not going to look at it again, but I did want to say that. Oh man, Goliath here looks incredible. This amazing Voltron looks insane. God knows how much it's going to cost. Oh my gosh! We are going to avoid looking at that last shall not be named item, which is still playing in my mind, and we're going to have to try and clear that. We're going to have to try and wipe that memory. We're going to have to try and avoid. Jay is going to try and, 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 and detox. Jay is going to try and step away. Jay is going to try and do everything he can. Now talking in the third person, Jay. Jay is going to have to do whatever he can to, 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 to distance himself from that, that glorious glorious piece of diecast ah 
Oh, yes, detox. We must, we must, we must abandon that. We must, we must leave that monstrosity alone. Ah, Nihonjin. So, Hontani. Hontani Kurishin Dio. わたくしのおお、わたくしの体は本当にああ、いえ。ほう、わたくしの本当に欲しいの。そのソロ直撃ですよ。なんとかや。ああ、本当に苦しい。本当に苦しいんだよ。だから。ああ、忘れないよ。